Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Seems good. Let's continue with Calamity. Uh, Kingdom of the Blind. There we go. And we just finished killing Gollum a few times. Um, I'm not particularly excited about a mine carp. Let's just sell that. Not even going to put that in the collection, to be honest. Uh, crates. We should probably hoard until we want to spend a luck potion. Uh, stack the fishies and stuff. What do we got? Martian Distress Beacon. Summons the Martian Madness. Should we do that before Empress? Uh, I think we're going to have a much easier time dealing with the UFOs if we have infinite flight uh, compared to if we didn't. So let's maybe not do it that way. Um, and this boss, this boss can go away for a while. We don't like this boss. Uh, lizard brick can go in the building materials. Fishy goes in here. Here? I don't have any bass left. I think I used them all to make cooked fish for one of those big recipes. Alright, let's grab our usual uh, basic summons. What the? And... Probably... I think a sanguine staff is still best for, like, a non-summoner. We just want the most reliable damage possible. Alright, so I think I'll put the Martian Distress Beacon away. We'll grab the Prismatic Lace Wing. Uh, actually, before we do, I think I want to farm a few. Uh, and I forgot, as, I, I forgot again that, like, the, um, the Prismatic Lace Wings only spawn before midnight, so let's hurry up. I'm going to grab a Zerg Potion, and Battle Potion, and Guide to Critter Companionship, and we're going to hang around in the Hallow, and get as many Lace Wings as we can before midnight, because they count as monsters for the purpose of spawning. Hey Morpheus, Damsel, good to see you again, oh, welcome, welcome, hope you're doing well. Play swing number one. Thank you. I am the sky. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Let me make sure I don't miss chat already. Didn't know it was Terraria night. Yes, indeed. Normally I'd start a couple of hours sooner. Hax is best because he actually updates his schedule. <laughs> yeah, I do. I do my best with that. Red Eyes White Wolf. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Evil Pla, thank you very much for the eight months. Much appreciated. And good to see you again. Hope you're all doing well. That's quite a start to the stream. Oh, Lace Wing number two. Give me that. You don't have to... Even if you don't have the Guide to Critter Companionship, uh, from what I understand, you don't have to worry too much about accidentally killing these things because... It's literally impossible until you get close to them. So this one right here I can't kill. Uh, until I get close to it, it won't, like, materialize properly. I'm surprised how well this is working. Even with, um... Even with the Zerg Potion plus Battle Potion. We've already got three, I think? Oh, five. We picked up five. All right. That's... and it's been one minute or so. <laughs> That's a pretty efficient use of our time. Here's a water candle. That's going to make it even better. That makes six. Do you think we'll manage to kill Empress of Light after seven attempts? I hope so. Make it eight. Now... And nine. We should probably get some souls while we're at it. 
Once it's midnight and we can't get any more lace wings, we'll go underground for whatever type of soul we've got fewer of. I never check those. Oh, the schedule. Yeah, I don't think most people do check the schedule. That's the impression I've gotten based on just a few comments. Small sample size, but still. I normally don't either, but I noticed it was actually correct a few weeks back, so I keep an eye on it. Fair enough. BG Neiman, good to see you again. A welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Oh, is that another? No, it's not. There's one. Gimme, gimme. So we're up to 12 lace wings. This has actually worked much better than expected. I guess they make them spawn only up until midnight, in case you kill one without knowing what it is. Because once it's daytime, uh, the Empress will kill you in one shot. <laughs> Even if you started at nighttime. Ouchie. Magic weapon proficiency up. Fantastic. Maybe we should do more of this. I don't know about the uh, Skyrim-ish uh, skill leveling addition to Calamity. That's about the only thing I don't necessarily agree with. It's not that bad though, I guess. Summoning is kind of like sneak. You're probably just going to end up with it really high, regardless of your playstyle, almost. What time is it? 12.30. Alright, so we're only... we're probably only getting resources here that we've got plenty of. Let's take it downstairs where we can get some souls. Um, stacky stacky, selly selly. That's a lot of pixie banners. I just killed like 400 pixies at least. <laughs> Approximately 400 actually. That's what the picking up four banners tells us. I don't remember killing one of these. Maybe I didn't sort my inventory since. Uh, you know what, just sell this. What even is that? Filthy Glove. 10 armor pen and 10% more damage stealth strikes. I don't know if I had that before. No, I think I did. Stack, stack, stack. Put the lace wings in here. Choc chip, uh, choc chip cookies. Delicious. And I don't care for these mummy things. Just, just sell it. We're in a hurry. Oh, those worms! No! Pre-made good bait. Gimme, gimme, gimme. Holy crap. Zerg potion plus battle potion plus lantern knight equals all of the bait. Yes, please. Maybe this is where I should be. Um, sell the piggy. He saw nothing, it's fine. And we don't need a million more clocks. Or unicorn kites, or this, or this, or this. Alright, how many souls do we have of each? Light is 38, night is 68. So I think for the nine minutes we have left on the Zerg potion. I should check what the cost of the Zerg potion is because maybe it turns out it's just money. And I shouldn't be so worried about preserving it. But I think it's at least a few steps of crafting, so it's a little bit of a nuisance to make. Uh, 
Okay, so what are we... Oops. I wish I could, like, lock the torches onto the walls. Uh, let's get Souls of Light. Re-up our buffs. And head down this general direction. You're rolling in the worms, right? Abian Lane, welcome, welcome. Good to see you again. Hope you're doing well. Let's buff up, actually. I don't want to get caught out. Holy cow, so many worms. Yep. Anything that... Uh, I, I really noticed this playing around with... Um, what is it called? Journey mode? Uh, when you crank up the spawn rate of monsters, it includes it includes little critters and stuff like that as well. And that includes, for example, those worms back at base. I've grown so used to ignoring that schedule widget due to people not updating it that I went, Pax has a schedule, and spent five minutes looking for it, despite it being right there. <laughs> Fair enough. Maybe I should make something on the Discord... Like, I used to mention on the Discord whenever I changed the schedule, but, uh... Maybe I should make it more visible somewhere else as well. Ow. Ow! Oh, that's a Mimic! Okay, okay, okay. I underestimated what might have been attacking me, because I wasn't really paying attention. Okay. There we go. Think we'll get enough souls from this? Does anyone know if... If you drink a Zerg potion in Calamity, is there any point to having a battle potion or... a water candle as well? Or is it like already at the maximum spawn rate? Just double check this real quick. Uh, Sloda, good to see you again, by the way. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What do the skill levels do? Just flat out stat bonus? Basically, yeah. Uh, once I finish this, I'll go visit the, um, the Goblin Tinkerer. You don't have to buy anything from him, but you can look at what he's selling. It'll show you all of the skill stats for your character. And if you want to be able to refer it wherever you are, you can buy one of those accessories from him. Ow. I'm a little... Whenever I hear that metallic tink, I'm a little nervous now, because it could be a mimic. Everything else is pretty easy to deal with. But we're a squishy mage at the moment. A mimic could be scary. Really takes the edge off farming. I should probably dig down here so if anything gets stuck in here it'll go to the lava. What's this? Hallowed Ore. Never heard of that before. How much time do we have left on the Zerg potion? Four minutes. I can keep this up for four minutes. And then I almost feel like taking a calming potion. <laughs> just so we can pick up all the stuff. I should definitely be dropping banners. Oh, we have one. What else do we have here? Illuminate slime. Oh, it's Mr. Bonesy. Whatcha buying? 
Uh, we can make calcium potions. I'm not that interested in yo-yos. I already bought Maru from him. I don't think we need anything. He's not selling anything that's hard to get right now. They all stack? Interesting. I think, uh... I think we're fine with, like... Battle Potion plus Water Candle right here. Don't really... Oh, sorry, Rage Potion. Uh, Zerg Potion plus Water Candle. We don't really need a Battle Potion on top of that. I should probably dig through this just so I can come through here without losing momentum. Absolute carnage. What's this? Well, whatever it is, it gave me money. What armor are we wearing? Oh yeah, Spectra. How could I forget? We got the little white things coming off of enemies and searching for a target. Ow. Oh, I see some perennial ore. Thank you. I wonder if there's a place where I could get more or less of that to spawn. Hmm. We got the famous bat bat. Do you think we'll have enough uh, souls of light after this? I think we might. My inventory is actually full. Eight seconds left. Let's uh, let's grab a peace candle. And turn off the uh, water candle, so we can actually loot all this stuff. Alright, back we go. Put this stuff away. What is that? Celestial Claymore. Spawns cosmic energy flames near the player that generate large explosions? Uh, okay. So if we're moving around, it's going to leave a trail of explosions behind us? What would be... What would this be good against? A worm boss, maybe? Any melee enemies trying to chase us? Interesting. Repetitive beats. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Rust Panda. Good to see you again. Also, where did my piggy go? Uh oh. Did I leave it on the ground, or is it in here? I think we had to craft our piggy, right? So we can always get it back. Even so, we got another magic quiver. Bellstone goes up here. Apple pie, delicious. Uh, flying knife, I think we have one already. Apparently not. I'll just throw it in the collector's items. Arrow slime banner. What the heck is an arrow slime? Arrow slime. Uh, 
Calamity mod. How do I... I guess that's it. What about... Vanilla Bestiary. Can I look at it here? Arrow Slime. Here we go. Slimes take on the qualities of their environments, and after feasting on Aerolite, all of this slime has grown wings. Fascinating. It drops Aerolite Ore. That's cool. Alright, we'll put the banner in here. We're definitely going to run out of room for banners in these two chests. Ignoring the fact that Bone Welders shouldn't be in there. And Solidifiers, for that matter. Uh, let's put this sword away as well. Somewhere. Hey, Zavoxifol. Good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That is still a lot of loot. 24 rubies from killing minions for like six minutes or so. Oh, I forgot. I need to... I need to extend this. Let's grab some boreal wood. Do I have boreal wood? Rich mahogany. Is it in here? Boreal wood. Fantastic. Uh, let's stack this away real quick. And... I'll probably just extend and turn this into the usual layout. I should come up with something different for some of the different biomes. Although I kind of like the desert and... Uh, desert and jungle versions of these houses. Could probably do with a bit more variety in the texture for the uh, walls and doors and stuff for this one. Anyway, let's just get something functional first. Whoops. Couple of doors. I'm gonna run out of wood, aren't I? Chairs. Whoops, whoops. Dash too fast. And... Some walls. Oh, that's right, we get four times. It might be enough. Jessica the Bandit has arrived. Wait. We already had you. Oh, that's where... This is where the mechanic's been. Okay. What's this guy's name? Uh, Permafrost? The Archmage. Alright. Uh, I think I had the Tinkerer on the left, Mechanic on the right. I feel like the Bandit can go in the same house as the Arms Dealer. And once it's night time, they'll teleport to where they're supposed to be. Sell, sell, wait, don't sell that. Actually... We've probably got more than enough of those. Hallowed ore, we're not selling that though. Watched a cool thunderstorm last night, how about you? Uh, no thunderstorms just yet, although I haven't checked the weather myself or anything, but apparently we might be in danger of flooding again, so that's fun. Um, I'm sure we'll see something Oh, dual hooks have been auto-stacked in here. Yeah, generally not doing too bad. Alright, let's finally... We've got duplicates of all of these. Let's get the banners in here. Sell, sell, sell. What's that? Blink root seeds. We've got enough blink root seeds. Actually, I can quick stack them here. And 
we also got a random marrow, which is the only way you can get it in vanilla. We got a skull. Fantastic. And I think we have a million giant shells. Let's sell that. Alright, now that that's cleaned out, we can go back and hopefully... There it is. Find our money trough on the ground for some reason. Uh, give to me... What is that doing there? Oh no. There's some mage accessory somewhere. Where it's not supposed to be. Give me the treasure magnet and we'll pick up the rest of this. And down here as well, I think. Oh wow, that range on the stars. Was that... No, it's just emeralds. Armored Digger has awoken again. I don't particularly feel like fighting this. Actually, we've killed it twice already. Did we just lose the... No, we did not lose an NPC this time. Fantastic. Alright, what accessory did I have? Um, probably damage? Where did I put it, though? When did I last swap out the high tensile, uh, high test fishing line? Oh, no. Also, how much Aerolite ore do we have? Free hard mode calamity, is that where that goes? Aerolite bar, we've got a thousand ore. <laughs> okay, I get the feeling we're probably past Aerolite. Maybe. Let's see. This has three defense. Yeah, I feel like anything that has Aerolite in it, we probably don't need to worry about at this stage. You can actually make Muramasa? Feather Crown. Road Projectile Velocity. Okay. Um, let's stack and sell this stuff. And I'm really concerned about where this accessory went. Oh, is this it? I mean... Oh, it's the Sorcerer Emblem. Did it get stacked in here? That's probably what happened. Menacing Sorcerer Emblem. Here we go. Plus 19% damage. Okay. Let's sell this. And what time is it? 9.45? Should we try... We probably shouldn't try Empress of Light tonight. Probably. Sell, sell, sell. I think I already had this and can buy it and or craft it anyway. We've actually just got too many of most things now. And it's glorious. How much perennial ore do we have? 716. That's a lot more than I was expecting. Uh, alright. Can we make anything other than these bars out of it? We can make dye and bricks. So, pretty much let's just turn it all into bricks. And we have 151. Uh, nice. What can we make right now without even looking at anything else? 40% fishing power rod? Fires two lines at once. Just as you have tamed the jungle monster, you can now tame the fish in the sea. Uh, 
Yes, please. And I guess I'll just put the mechanics right away. I was uh, talking about this somewhere else. It would be, if there's going to be some kind of automatic fishing, if you're going to mod it in or something, I think it would be cool if you just used the mechanics rod for that. And one of the downsides is it's not the most powerful fishing rod. What's this? Bestial pickaxe, 200%. We've already got better than that. Pickaxe power, true melee damage. Well, everything, every pickaxe does true melee damage. Berserker war axe. Not too worried about that. Summons thorns on enemy hits. Claymore. Flower spear. Is it all going to be melee? Nope. Shoots a flower spear tip, summons petals from the sky on critical hits. Does that work on the target dummies? Oh wow, uh, I guess that's a yes. And apparently there was a pot somewhere that we hadn't found yet. But it doesn't really go anywhere specific. Uh, what else do we have? Quagmire? Oh, it's a yo-yo. Buys spore clouds. Blade... Blade Edge... Railbow? 39 range damage sounds pretty weak. But if we look at the other stuff we can make right now, this should be strong, right? Or at least somewhat. Fires four arrows at once, fires two additional leaves. Does extra damage and is it point blank? That's like everything. It's also a material to make. Uh, Astral Defeat. There's an awful lot that goes into that. Mangrove Chakram. Broke damage. Stealth strikes leave a trail of lingering flowers. Material. And finally, we have a summon. Summons a sage spirit to fight for you. Inflicts sage poison, a debuff that becomes stronger the more spirits you own. The more spirits you own. What does that mean? Does it mean like... When we have one of these, this is a spirit? There can only be one spirit. And then if we increase our minion count... Do these both count as spirits? It's also a material. Flowers of Mortality. 205 summon damage. Rainbow flowers over your head. Okay. Uh, can we find a target to test this? It seems to be trying to attack something through the wall, but I can't really see what it's doing. It's... it's a... it's doing something poorly. It's like going through the wall and it's spitting up all of these, like, spiky things, and none of them are hitting, pretty much. I don't think we'll be using this one. Even when it does hit, it's very weak. I don't know if the gastropods are immune to poison or something, but still. Alright. Let's grab these stars. How do I keep missing that one? That's enough. Oh, that's even more. I can't say no, even though I don't really need them at this point. Alright. 
And I didn't actually try the bow yet. I mean, I'm sure it's not going to keep up with Tsunami, but let's see it anyway. Blade Edge Rail Bow. So it's shooting how many? Four arrows, two additional leaves. That DPS is nothing to scoff at, but as usual, it's not going to keep up with uh, Tsunami. Alright, I think I'll just put the perennial... Oh, what else can we make with it that we haven't seen yet? Uh, there was the armor set. Could that still be good? It might. Jungle Spores, Essence of Sunlight. Was it the same for all of them? We've already seen all of these. Hellkite? Contains the power of an ancient drake. Summons flame geyser explosions on enemy hits. That's a lot of damage. It's very slow, though. And then we've got Everglade Spray. Magic damage. A stream of burning green ichor. That might actually potentially... Judging by the damage number, it's not going to keep up with what we've got. Uh, we need Cursed Flames or Golden Shower to combine with Perennial Bars. It actually drops the amount of damage they do. That Burning Green Ichor had better be amazing damage over time or something. I don't suppose we can just buy Cursed Flames or Golden Shower by now? No. Uh, but we should have more than enough. I think we've got like a million Ichor. 183. And we need 15 souls of night, which we have. And what do we need then? A bookcase? Bookcase. Alright, golden shower. 92 magic damage without gear. And then we turn it in... Where do we change it? Here it is. Everglade Spray has 54 magic damage. The damage... Oh, this is... We got, like, the worst roll possible on it. You know what? We have infinite money. Let's just... Give it the best rolls so we can give it a good comparison. Is that just Cursed Flames? I don't think so. Um. Alright, so it's like it sprays through everything and inflicts damage over time. And it's very easy to use. I could see that being a pretty huge area damage weapon. In fact, let's give it a chance. Blizzard stuff's a bit harder to find a use case for. And then... Put these away. Uh, chuck that in the ranged collection. Anything else? Oh, I didn't make the armor yet. So we can make... Jump speed and increased movement? 15% increased damage reduction, but 30% decreased damage, 50 max life. Regenerates one health point every second. Interesting. Oh, there's two different sets, it looks like. How much do we need? Not much. There's also an accessory. Revenge, 20% increased damage, under 50% life. 
All attacks inflict Cursed Inferno and Venom while wearing Reaver armor. And it later becomes something even bigger. Looks like it's a melee set. Uh, Llama Boy? Thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Okay. Um, let's try and make these sets. I, I just want to see them. Do we have enough? Five, ten, six. I, I think we definitely have enough. We need a bunch of jungle spores and essence of sunlight and essence of calamity, I think it said. No, essence of sunlight. Oops. Jungle spores. Essence of sunlight. I can put the eco away. Where did I put jungle spores? Free hard mode vanilla? 107 spores? I think we'll be fine. Alright, so Reaver... How do you pronounce that? Quis... Quises? I am thank you yourself, not too bad, thanks for asking. Uh, yeah, I don't know about that summon. Let's get Reaver Scale Mail, Reaver Helm, and what do we have here? 87 defense, whereas this was 56. So we're going from like mage to m melee, I guess. It actually seems to be class agnostic, but it's just very tanky and reduced damage. So we got defense, max life, regen, damage reduction, decreased damage, reduces the life regen lost from damage over time buff, debuffs by 20%. Nice. All attacks have a small chance to steal life and speed up the rate of life regen. 20% decreased movement speed and light time. Enemy damage is reflected and summons a thorn spike. Reaver Rage has a 25% chance to activate when you are damaged. 19 defense, increased damage, 4% crit strike, 20 life. 14 defense, increased crit, increased movement speed. So this is actually class agnostic. And it just makes you really tanky. That's actually pretty cool. What about the other set that we can make with this? Um, I'll put this in melee just because usually tanky means melee, I guess. And... We made... Oh, it's actually just different helmets, I think. Visage, jump speed, and 15% movement speed. Headgear, 10% increased pick speed, 20% increased block slash wall placement speed. It's a builder set. Temporary immune to lava can move freely through liquids. It's just like a quality of life non-combat set. It seems like. Alright, what does this do? Set bonus. Immunity to fall damage, constant jumping... I guess I can't really see that with the wings until we run out of flight time. 10% increased flight time and horizontal wind, wing speed. Hooks fly out and retract 10% faster, reduces the cooldown of dashes. Feels almost the same. Uh, what have we got? Max life, damage, crit. Well, the, yeah, these haven't changed. The helmet was jump speed, movement speed. Still a decent amount of defense. And this one, set bonus causes nearby treasure to sparkle. Increased item grab range and block placement speed. Mining tiles restore... Mining tiles restores breath while underwater. Summon a Reaver Orb to light up the area around you. 
reduces enemy aggression even in the abyss, provides a small amount of light in the abyss. So this really is just quality of life, non-combat armor for when you're like digging or building or something. I kind of like that they do that. Like, even if I don't bother to use this, I love that it exists. And I, since my item storage areas are all class themed, I don't really have a place for this. But since this one's tanky and we usually asso ma associate melee with tanky, I'm going to put that there and the helmets can go in there. Okay. The summon can go in the collection. Melee th spear thing can go in the collection. Whoa. Did I not test this? Summons petals from the sky on critical hits. Oh, that, that bit I did test. Okay. And then let's put this stuff away. And let's get our good summons back. I should probably, like... Maybe I should have these things I keep coming back for somewhere a bit more accessible. Maybe I should keep them in the piggy bank. That would probably make a lot of sense. It's not too full yet. We don't need another temple key, and I don't know what it's doing in here anyway. Or do I? What time is it? 3.55? I think it's a good time to get ready for trying to kill Empress. So we got mage, damage, 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 dodge. Um... Let's get ourselves some regen, defense, defense, magic damage, and regen. We never actually use the regen during a boss fight as mage, but whatever. It's just money. Uh, shine, night owl, swiftness, rage, wrath, uh, gravitation, featherfall, might be good against Empress. Thorn's Potion, because I'm sure we're going to get hit. It'll at least do something back to her. Titan Potion won't do anything. Um... I think that's actually about it. Summons aren't going to really do anything. Why do we have two shadow keys here? So is this our boss fight set? I think it might be. We've got a couple of minutes. Let's try and get a fishing quest done. Caught in Sky Lakes. Where do we have Sky Lakes? I think this would be the easiest one to reach, maybe? Oh wow, yes. I'm still not used to the fish run wings. Oh, is that an enchanted sword? It is too, and a strange plant. I'm leaving this here. We've already had our enchanted sword earlier this playthrough. Alright, I haven't tried this fishing hook yet. Let's grab some bait. Got quite a lot now. And swap these out. So how does this work? It It's literally just... They both hook something at the same time? Okay. So we're just doubling our fishing now. I don't mind this. It seems sometimes I get just one. 
There's our quest fish. Oh, what was that that I didn't pick up? We'll need to go back and find out. Alright, but for now, let's go to the Hallow. Let's re-up our buffs first. Make sure we've got our summons. Grab our prismatic lace wings. Put this stuff away. We got infernal wisp die. Should probably try to remember to see what that looks like later. Crate goes in here. Sunlight goes in here. And... I kept running into problems fighting the Empress around here with the terrain. So I think maybe I should make some hallows somewhere else to summon her. Like down here. Or maybe I should teleport to try and lure her away. I feel like we're gonna get into trouble. Uh if we try to teleport. Let's find out. Where is she? Um... I thought she, like, chases you. Did we just waste a summon? Or was it just the ex the one extra attack that she does after you teleport? I hope I didn't just waste a summon. Alright, I'll try and pull her way over to the left, right after the fight starts. Oh. There goes our dodge already. Don't dash into me, please. Oh, that's a tree. Oh, okay. Can we get into the sky now? Why Why do I not have grab potion? Really? Okay. Alright. I need you to do your dashy thing so I know I can go up for a moment. There we go. And now we need to go down. Up this way now. Ouchie. Please give me some space. No. No space. What's the cooldown of my potions? 15 seconds. I don't like that. Up we go, and she dashes through me immediately, of course. Can I please potion someday? Or oh, don't tell me I already did. No, we're fine. We've got, like, at least 7 health. Oh crap, oh crap, oh crap, okay, alright. And you're making me run out of space again. Nope, nope, nope. I don't like it. 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 Okay. So dead. I need some... Some health. I think I need to move. I, I, I need to, like, get some Halo somewhere else so that we can start the fight somewhere without these random uh, obstacles. 31%? Not a bad attempt. Okay. Okay. Um, I also need to watch out for, like... Not all of my buffs happening when I press B. I wish you'd chase when we teleport. 
I guess that would be pretty harsh if you're trying to play hardcore. Um, I could buy some Hello Seeds. I could make... Uh, I don't really want to make the ocean Hello. We could make this area Hello. And pull it over to the ocean. Do we have the kind of flight time to get up here? Make a sky bridge? No, I'm not doing that. Uh, when I say arena list, that's what I mean I'm not doing. Hmm, I need to... You know what, fuck it. Grab potions are cheap. We're just going straight up like this. And if we're a little bit patient, I can just plant one little bit of hallowed seed here. Probably another bit of hallowed seed over here now that I think of it. Should we do the Martian? You know what? We're doing the Martian thing. No, no, no. Come back. Come back. Oh, wait. It did. That's what I was supposed to let it to, actually. Um, we might have a little bit of problem when... A little bit of trouble when the UFO comes because we don't have infinite flight. I guess I'll just have to use grab potions. We might get some damage dealing that'll help with Empress as well. I guess I don't have my summons now. Oh well. Nope, razor blade better. Oh yeah, I should try this. Oh, oh, what the, what the, what the, what? Did I... I don't remember pressing up. Did they reverse gravity on me? Alright, here's our friend. Ow. Uh, I'm actually really low on health now. Where's the... Where's the... Where is it? What's my health cooldown? 27 seconds? Yikes. I'm disoriented now. Where's the saucer? I have no flight time left either. Where did it go? Did I lose it? We do need to kill a saucer or two. For some of the cool drops. Ow. The moment I looked at chat. Okay. Let's try and stay above it. Not too far above it because it's going to come to us and like... We don't want to run out of sky. Two weapons left. Oh, it says... Nice. I didn't kill the last one, did I? Ow. There we go. Martian Saucer has been defeated. Gimme whatever that is. Electrosphere something. Launcher. 54 range damage. Hell yes. It had two weapons left. Okay. It's not that hard without the in soaring insignia. Especially with this kind of movement speed. If you know the pattern with the beams, especially if you have a Rod of Discord. We actually did need the Rod of Discord to escape that one beam because we got bumped. A solar eclipse is happening! Fantastic. Good. Perfect. It does show it on the minimap. Oh, 
Nice. I don't remember the names of the drops from the Martian saucer, except for the ABC. The, the acronym for the ABC. Something blaster cannon? Charged blaster cannon. CBC. Actually. Ow. Rude. Where is it? I don't want to lose it after that much effort. Yeah, now it's... Now it's going to always try to get above me really aggressively. So you're better off just dodging like this. Assuming you have damage. Done? Almost. Give me one more saucer. Nope, never mind. And now we have this event. Let's spice it up a bit. Zerg potion. Grab our summons. get the Sanguine Bat out as well. Re-up our buffs. Fantastic. If we don't have everything from the Solar Eclipse after this, I would be shocked. You know what we should do, actually, is the Blood Moon. I need Blood Orbs. Except it's daytime right now. That's how a Solar Eclipse works. Empress of Light attempts. All I heard was Martian and Solar Eclipse. Uh, yeah, Empress is... I'm gonna do that tonight, I think. Except I was right in the middle of trying to make a Halo Biome and got distracted by the Martian Saucer. I think the little bit of grass that's going to spread is probably not going to be enough to make it a hallowed biome. So I might have to grab some... Clentaminator ammo? Oh, how does this weapon bear? It's... It's really quite weak. I don't know, it might be good for, like, tagging everything with damage over time. But directly, it's very, very weak. Subhan, good to see you again. Oh, well, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. We got a moth, have some bubbles, get wrecked.
What other daytime events are there? I guess there's the Martians. Should we should we turn this into Martian madness again? With the Zerg potion active? What's the worst that could happen? Let's get some health back first. If we can. Oh, hello. Do they never drop health? Where is it? There's some. Not a whole lot, though. Uh, where's the summony thing? Martian Distress Beacon. Go. So what happens if we combine the Solar Eclipse with Martian Event? Is it just going to turn into Martians? Ow. Ow. Okay. 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 Let's just back off for a minute. Get some honey regen. It looks like it's just Martians now. Nope. I see some... some spikes, some nails. Well, that might have just been an enemy that was left over from the solar eclipse. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mr. Nailhead. No, I definitely see new spawns from the solar eclipse. Just not a whole lot of them. Have we found a way to make the Martian event less threatening? By putting wheat whips? By putting weaker spawns in the middle of them. It looks like it's mostly just Martians, though. In fact, I can only see Martians now. Yeah, I think the others were, like, leftovers. Let's go. Dodgy, dodgy. Dodgy, dodgy. Okay, okay. I need light time. Oh, crap. Bad timing. There we go. Give me some health. Nope, nope, that's... Nope, 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 nope. You're blocking my path to the health. Okay, okay. Okay, okay. Tetis, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. One of the first times I played the game, after killing the Moon Lord, I thought I was hot shit. Went to kill Empress of Light and got one shot. <laughs> yep. Although that was, uh... Oh, crap. Uh, okay, okay, okay. It's only during the day that she one-shots you, right? Okay, okay, okay. Okay, running out of space. Alright, alright. Jeez. This would be significantly easier with Soaring Insignia. So I don't have to think about flight time and reversing gravity. Where's the saucer? I don't see it on the map, but I see the health bar. 
Oh my god, it's so far away. What the hell? Let's get some honey. No! Give me that honey regen. Does that did that reset my flight time? It did. A Lamel, indeed. So where do those hearts drop that I didn't pick up earlier? I don't see them. There's some. Alright, we're almost full health. The Martian saucer by itself isn't that much of a problem, but combined with the shots coming from the ground, it's a bit of a problem, to say the least. Alright, I didn't get that many sources this time, but hopefully we got some good drops. Oh, it's still the solar eclipse. Alright, I guess we got... Um, we've got 90 seconds left of this, it's fine. We got a shock grenade. We've got at least two electrosphere launches. Doesn't seem very good, but I'm wearing mage gear. Uh, Influx Waver is good as well. In fact, you can see how strong it is even though I'm not melee right now. I might even swap that out and use it for my, like, short range weapon, even though I'm playing mage right now. But then I don't have a super high DPS if something's chasing me. Wingman, 85... 85 magic damage. Fires a concentrated laser beam. Okay, this looks fun. Uh, how about this? Pretty good damage. We gotta be a little bit precise with it. obviously not what we want to use in the sky. Yeah, I don't think it quite competes. It is a material, though. Alpha Ray. <laughs> Looks uh, a bit OTT. And we got another mark. Where's my bubble? Are you not gonna fly at me like usual? There we go. Um, I guess we're gonna be too busy sorting out inventory. Uh, let's just stack it all- uh, let's just put it all away, make sure it's not left on the ground, and I'll fight the Empress anyway. We don't have to start at 7.30 on the dot, but I want to make sure we can at least try a couple of times tonight. Assuming we have our biome, though. Yeah, it looks like we did get half a hallowed biome up there. I don't know if it's going to be enough. Alright, so we got 155 shock grenades. Explodes into a... Burst of Lightning. Stealth Strikes. I think... Was this part of... Uh, vanilla or no? Well, whatever the case, I'm going to stick it in... Rogue. Um, we 
got electrosphere launchers. Do these, like, not consume ammo? Oh, they consume rockets. Seem a bit weak, honestly, compared to what we've got. But I could definitely see some use cases where that would be rather effective. It's also a material. Oh, Luminite Bar plus Super Star Shooter. Interesting. Alright, let's put that away for now. We got Martian Saucer Trophy. Sure. Martian Saucer Relic? Where does this go? Uh, Martian Saucer... Right after Gollum. I think this is Gollum. This is Gollum. And then... Wingman becomes Alpha Ray. We're not going to have the materials for this for a minute. Two Wingman, one Genesis? It's like badly spelt. Did we get Charged Blaster Cannon? I do not see it. Brain Scrambler summons a rideable Scutlix mount. Lovely. Beautiful. Perfect. No notes. Um, laser machine gun? Hell yes. I think this will be our new... Um, high damage versus one big target mage weapon. Let's see. It had better at least beat Unreal Tsunami while we're wearing mage gear. Don't tell me I had the fishing gear up this whole time. Oh no. Okay. So Tsunami gives us about, let's call it 3000 DPS. Once it gets going... Okay. Yes. Good. Hell yes. Alright. Laser machine gun. You can be our main damage dealer for big single targets while we're playing mage. And we can put Tsunami over here. Uh, Influx Waver. In that case, I guess I don't mind using the Influx Waver when something's in my face. Or when I want to clear spider webs or something like that. Even though it's melee. Because we don't need the bubbles to fill the role of massive damage. Reroll the influx waiver. Fantastic. Look at it go. And then I don't think we're using Everglade spray, that seems terrible. But what are we using instead in that slot? Something for like piercing a bunch of stuff. I could put the rainbow gun there. It is now a material. Bellwood bow plus some exotic stuff plus rainbow gun makes cosmic rainbow. Launches a barrage of rainbows. Beautiful. It looks like 
like a lot of things, a, a lot of these spells in Calamity, they may have... Wait, what? Oh, I'm sorry, Bunny. I forgot. I didn't have... I, I didn't have the Critter Companion thing ready. Crap, it's already 1.30 a.m.? I've used up the night checking my inventory and stuff, so now it's not really time to do Empress. Martian costume pants. Brilliant. Did we get anything else? We got the conduit plating? I can make cool chests. Anything else I would want to make with this? It's all just, uh... It's still just cosmetic by the look of it. Music Box Day Remix. Okay. Let's put that in... Building Materials. Martian Costume Mask. Sure. Stack these away. What potion did I have here? I feel like I've run out of something and not, and I don't know what it was. Also, wingmen, get out of here. Whoops. Is that really the first Eye of Cthulhu yo-yo I've got? No, it's like the fourth. Let's sell these extras. Sell, sell, sell. Put this up here. We've got one minute to kill Empress of Light. I don't think that's happening. Uh, and I don't need another Hellforge either. Did we lose people? I think we lost people. We're lucky the pylon still works. Give me back my guide to critic comp- oh! Uh... So we have way too many wingmen. Since we need at least two of them for crafting, I'll put them... in here. I'm a little sad we didn't get the charged blaster cannon, or the bubble poppy thingy. That ranged weapon that shoots bubbles that then fire bullets. We got 81 solar veils. That's a lot. Um, I think we're probably maybe past using those though. Totality breakers. Or is it all just rogue stuff? Alright, let's sell the extra stuff. What was that? Martian uniform torso. No, I'm keeping that. We're keeping one of each. For the Martian outfit. And then... Let's just grab stuff I know I'm gonna sell. How many broken hero swords do we... Quite a few, potentially. And then it's all banners? It's actually all banners and solar veil after that. And broken hero sword. I think I might have to move... Uh... What's it called? The steampunker to the hallow to get the hello solution. Or I could just grab hallowed seeds from you again.
If we can get hallowed music here... It means we can summon the Empress here. I don't think it's enough yet. Oh, don't double tap that dirt block. How dare you. Alright, that should be enough. What is this? Platinum. If I put some stone blocks here, that's like more blocks that are hallowed blocks. So it's easier for this to count as a hallowed biome as well. What is that? Shockstorm Shuttle. Zenith is good in this mod? Uh, I don't know. I've never actually made the Zenith, believe it or not. For all my hours of Terraria, I've never gotten to it. Or just haven't bothered. Let's sell this and stack this away. And same goes for all this stuff. I should probably put the Martian banners up before I summon the Martians again, though. Tesla turret banner. I don't know. It's hard to find somewhere to put all the banners that they don't look bad. Alright, so our inventory is finally empty. And I was thinking of grabbing some pearlstone. I was going to say just stone and it would spread, but we've got tons of pearlstone here somewhere. Here it is. Pearl sand. That's not what I'm looking for. Do I really not have it in here? Oh, here it is. 1500. Alright, so we're going to put some hellstone down here. And it's going to be easier for this to count as hello. And down here as well. Can I not get that out of here? There we go. Could could you be persuaded to leave? Thank you. Alright, that should be probably more than enough, I hope, for this to count as hello soon. Maybe we need more. Don't pick up the sun plate block. Oh, whoops. I want it to look kind of natural. So hopefully we can summon Empress of Light from here and fly over to where the ocean is so there's plenty of room without bumping into anything uh, and without making a hallowed biome that's going to spread where we don't want it. That's the plan anyway. But I think... I think we would need to see some hallowed creatures spawning here to know that it would work. Or hear different music. But I don't know if, like, 
sky biome is going to take a higher priority or something. I'm definitely hearing hallowed now. Okay, p yeah, purple... Purple water means hallow. Okay, there we go. If I go up here, the music isn't hallow. But we've still got the purple water. So I'm pretty sure we should be able to summon Empress from here. Maybe I should make a teleporter. So we can do this multiple times easily enough. In fact, if I teleport this far, will Empress, like, disappear? I feel like finding out. Let's grab ourselves... is it the Steampunker? Couple of teleporters... Uh, all of the wire... Let's go for blue wire. Teleporter. Oh, I need a touch plate. Whoops. Should probably if yeah. I can I can just buy these potions, so I'm valuing my time over. Over the potions. Alright. Grey plush pressure plate goes here. And then blue wire. Down we go. How far are we going? That might be a bit too low. Let's just work backward from where we're putting... Oh, that's different. Why am I so slow? There we go. Let's work backward from where we're putting the teleporter. Right about here. And... Like so. Now this is a nice easy way to place wires. Just crisscross that and then remove the excess. Nope. There we go. Water is already polluted? Wait, what? Zenith is a post Yaron weapon, and pretty strong at that too. Not sure how it compares to other weapons. Interest. Oh, we're getting plague canisters now. Plague cell canister. I remember seeing that in the materials for a few things that were a bit... Okay, we're definitely making that later kind of thing. Right, so we should now be able to teleport straight to the jungle and straight to our hallow biome. Fantastic. And even if it costs a lace wing to try it, I do want to see if we can summon the Empress of Light and immediately teleport down here, and then we'll go to the ocean biome. Um, but for now, I want to look for some more of these plague cell canisters.
Oops, I think I was muted. Uh, turns out we can make uh, vitamins from the beetle juice plus stuff that we uh, we can farm. I think we've already been here. Yes, indeed. Can I move? There we go. What time is it? We've got two minutes until earliest possible fight. When did this happen? Brimstone Hellfire Ball. I don't even remember what that was. Brimstone Hellfire Ball. I'm sure that was probably a boss. Bland. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What was that explosion? I guess that's the death sound of things that drop these canisters. Alright, I think we have all of our buffs. One minute till it's time to start the fight. Let's redo our stations. Put away the guide to critter companionship. Uh, stack this stuff. Yeah, these are our first plague cell canisters. Hard mode calamity. This can go here. And away we go. And I still have the wire on me. Oh well. Lace swing. Be free. Just kidding. Alright, so is she gonna chase us or. That would be a no. I still, I still see a hit point bar. But she's not on the map. Okay, never mind. That didn't work. Let's try again. I just lost my invulnerability to an invisible feather. Damn it. Mm. Alright, fine. Let's re up our buffs. And. I won't wait for the whole cool to. Ah! I won't wait for the whole cooldown, let's just try getting her to chase us all the way to the ocean without dying, preferably. To a point, it seems easy enough to just keep going one direction, but I think she's gonna... Yep. Yep. Okay. Okay. We're at the ocean. We're not gonna run into anything weird anymore. So we can just concentrate on the fight. Fantastic. Maybe I should make... Like a sky island closer to the ocean. Oh, this looks bad. This looks this looks ungood. No, 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 thank you. Okay. Alright. What hit me? Well, we're still pretty much at full health anyway.
I think whenever she makes that sound, she's gonna do a instantaneous sideward da What the fu- Really? Just- just appear out of nowhere? O okay. No warning, nothing. What time is it? 10.06. Let's try again. We've got our cooldowns and stuff. So I don't think she's going to get away from us or anything if I keep dashing away. Okay, I'm going to run out of space. There goes our dodge. And she just teleported onto me. Okay, cool. Seems fair. Seems good, actually. We've made it to the ocean. No more obstacles. Alright, so far so good. Back up we go. I don't really understand it, but... It seems like there's a sequence and I'm getting an intuition for when I should fly up. Okay, okay, that's not... This is not... This is bad times. Nope, nope, nope. Okay, okay, okay. As is often the case, we generally want to go in a big circle. What the... What... The fuck? No. No. This is not okay. Give me some space. Holy crap. Oh no. Okay, so I have to know ahead of time when she does those beams, uh, they're all going to be aimed directly at me, and if I move too fast, I'm going to run out of space. Ah, uh, yes, getting flashbacks, PTSD. Indeed. I love that Hax is always so calm and collected, and then suddenly there comes this random... What the... Aha. <laughs> uh -huh. Boshock. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. What time is it? We've got three and a half minutes if I start the boss fight now. I think that probably is about how much time the boss fight takes, but I don't want to risk morning happening right when we're almost about to win. So maybe we'll try again at night uh, at 7.30. It's much harder to see the patterns with this boss. What was that thing that we need? Uh, apparently I quick stacked it somewhere. The uh, beetle juice or something? Where am I keeping that? Oh, you know what we should do with a couple of minutes that we've got left during the night? Oops. Wrong teleport. Get a few blood orbs. Spawn rate doesn't seem that high. I think I've used my, my last Zerg potion as well. So we'll make some more of those as soon as it's morning. Don't 
kill the guide? That's so rude. I wish I could configure this auto thing a bit more precisely. Or even just like have a switch up top where like it's permanently on for when I'm finding stuff. Hey Veldak, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. The damages though. Oh yeah, I didn't try using the uh the laser machine gun. Maybe I would have even won that fight just because I didn't have to last as long if I had used this. But then again, not having to concentrate on aiming while trying to figure out the movement and dodge patterns for the for a new boss or a boss that I haven't mastered uh, kind of helps. But the damages... If everything hits, this actually out-damages the, uh, uh, Razorblade Typhoon. Uh, not Razorblade. Well, definitely Razorblade Typhoon. I meant to say Tsunami. Alright. How do we make, uh, Zerg Potion? And why is my caps lock on? We need either two purified gel and a 20 blood orb. That's actually pretty cheap. Or demonic bone ash, four blighted gel, two purified gel. How much demonic bone ash do I have and what else does it get used for? Demonic... Bone Ash. I'm sure it's in here. Um, maybe it's not in here. Was it pre-hard mode? There it is. 47. That's not that much. But we only need one per Zerg potion. And Blighted Gel is really easy to get. Uh, sorry, Purified Gel. Do we have Blighted Gel in the same chest? I think it's in here. Blighted Gel? Oh no. Speaking of which, why is there a Corrupt Slime up here? That's really weird. Hey Jimbo Panda, good to see you again. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Yatu Watu, welcome, welcome also. Lighted gel. Oh, here's those beetle juice. There's only two of them? I'm sure I picked up more than two. It must be over somewhere else as well. Lighted gel. Oh, is it a potion ingredient? I might have it in here. Uh, yeah, that's... That's a lot of blighted gel. Okay. And then... Demonic Bone Ash. Purified gel. And bottle, I think. Triumph Potion. Enemy contact damage is reduced. The lower their health, the more it is reduced. I should probably use that as well. We've got way too many buffs as it is, and we often, like, have problems with B not doing all of our buff potions because there's too many buffs. Zen Potion vastly decreases enemy spawn rate. That might be nice sometimes, but it doesn't look like worth the effort. Uh, pink Gel plus Daybloom plus these two. That's not so bad. 15 minutes as well, and it's a material? Tranquility Candle. The mere presence of this candle 
calms surrounding enemies drastically. We need Core of Illum. Interesting. I think I looked at that before. Okay, Zerg, Zerg Potion, let's go. I don't remember the last thing other than this that I used Demonic Bone Ash on. And I don't want to spend all of my Blood Orbs on it. So I think that's where we'll put most of our... Most of that. I think buff limit is the biggest caveat of Calamity and using multi-class setups. I really can't keep buffs and minions. Yeah. Caught in surface tundra, tundra trout. Uh, let's get some bait and stuff. And let's remember to swap our items back next time. Uh, this time. And there it is. Uh, that was rather quick. Gimme tackle box. That, that is a pocket guide. I'm pretty sure we have that already. Actually, I don't know if we did have that. Weather radio and sextant. I do we have those? I should really be keeping all of those fishing accessories here. Just so they're easy to find. Weather radio and sextant. I think I might have had one of those. Actually, I'm really doubtful. Yeah, okay. You know what? Let's... We've still got room in the piggy. Let's just keep them there, I guess. And then we can easily check. Jungle slime banner. Not too worried about jungle slimes. What should we do for the rest of the Terraria day? I mean, worst case, I could use a bed to skip it. We could make a wizard tower. Got the building materials right here. Um, so I wanted to use... Oh, I'm also going to want some toll gates. Let's grab those. Iron plate. I mean iron bar. This is not Factorio. We're going to need like... I'm out of wood. Okay. Okay. How much wood is this? 341, that's probably fine. Give me those acorns. Calamity feature? I hope that's not too spoilery for you, but I think starting hard mode there is an item to freely switch between... Start of day or start of night? Really? No, I definitely appreciate that one. We could definitely use that. Cosmelite. Can we make it? I see a bunch of furniture. Cosmolite 
maybe? Wait, what? Something like that. I forgot it. Oh no. Unless it's the Cosmolite Clock, I doubt that. Cosmolite Lan... Lantern... Piano... All I see is... Furniture. Search for day or night in tooltip. Um... Cosmo Light. Changes night to day and vice versa. Does not work while a boss is alive. Seven souls of each type. Fallen star. Essence of sunlight. Anvil. That is super easy to make. Let's quickly put our building stuff away. Not the iron bars. Uh, sunlight. Sunlight. Souls and Anvil, wasn't it? Is it? Oh, that's way too much stuff. Souls of Night, Souls of Light, and... What was it called again? Or rather, what did it look like? It's this thing. Ten stars, which I usually carry with me all the time, but we had... Way too many ammo types to worry about earlier. Give me the stars back. Was my light nice? Starting with hard mode and very useful. Yes, indeed. All right then, let's get our equipment together. Or buffs, I guess. Um, summon. I should put this wire back. And maybe I'll keep this here for now. Toll gate. Uh, you know what? Toll gate goes in here. And... Uh, I need my prismatic lace wings, actually. I should try to remember that I have the teleport as well. The Rod of Discord. Alright. Cosmolite, go. Prismatic Lace Swing, go. Buffs, go. Dash away, go. Grab Potion Go, immediately dash into me the moment that I equalize my altitude with you, Go. Oh. Alright, so far so good. And we're at the ocean. Fantastic. What the? What, really? I should probably try to use the laser. Oh no. Oh no. Don't dash into me, please. Don't. Why does that count as a hit? I didn't really even touch it, and it's just this slowly moving trail. 
<sighs> Once more with feeling. Let's use the laser. I'll try and just focus on dodging and let myself aim subconsciously. Don't dash into me. Don't dash into me. I hate that dash. Oh, come on. What am I supposed to do against that? She literally just dashed from off screen onto my face. There's, there's no way unless you just have all of her movements timed and memorized. You're just backing me into a corner. Okay. okay. I tried reaching for the dis uh, the rod at the end, but weapon wouldn't switch fast enough. I don't know what I'm supposed to do in that in those last few seconds. Literally just completely painted into a corner. Why did it stop firing? waste of my heal. Because I got hit and then I got a little scratch. The dodge actually took the big hit. And then I think I used a heal potion to heal like one health. Don't dash directly onto my face. That is cheating. Holy crap. boss. I think she likes your face. Phil Philo De Decala, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. It's late in the night now. I wanted to practice, uh, Empress of Light upstream just over and over with time frozen. So we just so we don't have these gaps between trying to learn her stupid pattern. But didn't have time today. Uh I guess we'll do like a fishing quest.
One fish a day, please go away. Did we rewind time to 4.30 a.m.? Is that how that works? Just double click Cosmolite to reset to morning back to night. Yeah. Alright. Oh, I think I remember seeing... Yeah, yeah, yeah. We still haven't talked to this exclamation mark person. What's she selling that's new? Nothing useful? Summons a coin that revolves around you and steals money from enemies. Um, no. How dare you. Deep wounder monkey darts? What? Oh yeah, I wanted to figure out... Wait, I already did figure out how to make Zerg potions. Was it something else? No, I think it was just Zerg, uh, Zerg potions. Alright. Let's try again. I'm about to run out of magic power potions. Let's not actually... Magic power potions... I don't think it matters if we run out of regen because... Uh... Whenever... Whenever using regen against the boss actually, because we're constantly firing. So, put these away for now. Still got plenty of... Everything else, I think. Maybe Rage could use a bit of a buy. That's a lot of money. Alright, back we go. I don't think it's worth the damage reduction. What the? Razorblade Typhoon doesn't chase this. Interesting. Free up our bus. Teleport. Nighttime, lay swing, and flee, and buff. Oh, rude. I don't have any flight time left. That's why we're trying to kill the Empress of Light. So we don't have to use grab potions to stay in the sky. Not to mention we get a significant boost to how quickly we can fly up. Down we go. And over this way. So far, so good. That's less good. Go away. Thank you. And I think we want to get some height again now. Get out of my face. Uh oh. Okay, okay, this is going quite well. Uh oh, oh, nope, 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 nope. Do not panic and hit heal while we've only taken two damage. Ow. 
Ow. Okay. Okay. Now, now we're almost dead. From, like, one mistake. I wouldn't even call it a mistake. She just teleported into me and I didn't really react that well. How was that a hit? I ran into, like, the very whiff at the end of the tail of one of those stars. Uh, Jugra, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. And, uh, Left4, thank you for the follow also. Welcome, welcome. Alright, we're getting closer. We're running out of lace wings. <laughs> At least for most of the fight, I've almost got a pattern down pat where we spend a certain amount of time slowly losing altitude after flying up at the right time. So we have a lot more space. fly up, I think. Ow! Okay, what the hell? Oh, I probably didn't need to use a heal potion there. Maybe a bit wasteful. Can we go up? We can go up. I think if I go too high above her at moments like that, that's when she teleports onto my face, I guess. And, uh, and I do just have to guess. Where, where is she? She probably have switched to Razorblade Typhoon for a sec there. Oh, this is bad. No, get, get off, get off. Chew, chew. No. She's gonna teleport onto my face. Ow. I'm almost dead, so is she. Oh no, I'm gonna run out of space. No! <sighs> okay. It really takes, like, one mistake to lose 90% of our health. I guess I can easily farm Lace Wing now that we can change it, change the time to dusk whenever we want. So we're just gonna stick with this until we get her. I'm gaining some familiarity with her attacks. Can I fly up now? Seems like the answer is yes. And up again. Nope, not there. We lost our dodge, but nothing else. Ow! What the f actual... we go. Don't dash through me. Thank you. And up. And don't dash through me. Ow. Up we go again.
I'm gonna run out of room if I'm not careful. Up we go. Fantastic. Yes. This is good, actually. I would love to be able to heal. I need to go back up. Oh crap, oh crap, okay, 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 okay. Why? Why? She just teleported onto my face again. Her summon weapon drop is pretty strong in vanilla. It had better be, since you have to kill her during the day for that. I don't... I still can't see a single tell as to... When and why she would just jump onto your face from off screen or not. It's like the opposite of something that if you're good enough, you would just beat her the first time. Uh, we need to reset time again. Ow. Well, I guess we're waiting for our health to reach in again. Give me those essences, I guess. I need to wait for the dodge cooldown as well. swing. What? Really? You, you absolute creep. You sneaky flying assassin dragon. Okay. Let's regen again since we need our dodge cooldown and not to have potion sickness. Maybe I should put these buffs up at the uh, summon area. Bewitching. Sharpening doesn't do anything with the uh, gear that I'm wearing, actually. Nor does ammo, for that matter. Speaking of which, I don't think I did reset my summons. What is this? Grapefruit. Alright. Full health again. Hopefully not another dragon. Alright. Let's do it. Let's go. This is the one. 100%. I'm not at all feeling like I need a break from dying over and over to Empress. This is fine. This is the moment. room already? Oh, come off it. How is that fair? And of course you're not going to let me through. Why would you? What? Okay, I literally died before she appeared just now. 
Like, there was a good one second of empty space where I was. There were no projectiles. She just killed me and then appeared on me as if to say, got you. Debuff? I don't think I was that low. It, it's literally like one damage per tick. It would be very unlikely. Alright. I think we uh She tries to get above you before the skills being under her should be helpful. Being under her means you run out of space. I mean, almost everything means you run out of space, but being under her is worse. But you have to know you have to know exactly when she's about to do that somehow. Uh, and it's like it's getting to the point of other than just arbitrarily running a timer in my head. That doesn't seem to be a way. Anyway, uh, let's do some words on stream. And I'm going to take a few minutes, get something to eat. And we'll try again after that. At least we can just buy all of the buff potions. I should probably get some more mana potions. We're down to only 81. Can I get super mana potions from somewhere? Um, I imagine... Oh yeah, this guy. I remember now. I don't really want to spend the materials to upgrade these. I'd rather spend the money. So that is literally full mana every time we use that. One does not simply get PTSD. Uh... One does not simply not get PTSD with Empress of Light? Is that the intention? I would imagine. Alright, let's get some words on the, uh, on the stream. And also on the screen. You are... Oh, wait, what? Properties... There we go. Alright, we'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Good to go. One more. One more. Fantastic. All right, let's continue, shall we? See if I don't have a bit more focus now. And uh, why do I still have these in my inventory? Get out of here. How many lace wings do we have? We're about to run out at this rate. But we're inching closer to fluking our way through one boss kill. Do you think the laser machine gun is doing more work? Then if I just spammed razor blade. Okay, okay, okay. Not this time. so fast it makes me feel like I have the reaction time of a stone cat. Alright, we found the ocean. So far so good. Up we go. And down we go. I have to squeeze through here, that was uncomfortable. Oh god, they're still here. Really? What? Why? I think I should have followed my instincts to get lots of height when I have the ch- Really? The hitboxes on some of these attacks... We're gonna die. Let's just reset this one. Yeah, no. No, you don't. What time is it? Oh, it's... It, we were 30 seconds away from morning. That, that could have been bad. 
Um, let's see. Honey. Maybe I should carry a shining stone. Oh, I bet Calamity lets you put it in an accessory slot. Yeah, that's convenient. Alright, so... Regen? Fantastic. And... Back we go. Why do I have no... Minion? Nighttime and lay swing and back we go. Um, can I? There we go. Would it be better if I go back and forth across the sky instead of mostly ending up in one area? Why is my weapon not working? There we go. Alright, you're gonna do your thing now, and there we go. Fantastic. I think I should try to use more horizontal space around the ocean. It's not like I'm fighting Duke Fishrun. As long as we don't leave the flat ground area and get caught somewhere. Should be good. Oh my god. Okay, okay, all right. I thought she was low for a second there, but I was just like misreading the boss bar out of the corner of my eye. Can I fly? Not even a little bit? She literally just teleported onto my face. Again. She's gonna dash into me. I have no room. That was nasty. Where's my... Where's my rod? Okay, I messed up. That's fine. I got lucky. That was close. That was just cheating. So I think it's if I get a certain distance from her, she probably will... Wow. I think it's... Probably distance-based, if she teleports onto my face, maybe? But you would think when I'm running away from her horizontally, she would do the same thing. What time is it? 10.17. And why do I have the opposite minion from the one that I'm trying to keep? Seems like regardless of the order, I end up with not the solar god. Alright. Once again. Please. No. Bad. Bad invisible harpy. Ah, uh, dodge cooldown. 90 seconds. What is this? Oh, rip. Well, we're at full health, but... I usually avoid any hits until we get to the ocean, right? It's probably fine, right? 
it's probably fine. What's the worst that could happen? a lot of it's a lot of light the thumb off it where was I supposed to go there? I don't think it's worth uh, a rod of discord when I have the laser machine gun either. Yeah, there was there was actually no way to dodge through that. I have to like know exactly what she does in advance and control her movements indirectly. Last one before we have to farm up more lace wings. Where to go? Discord. Ah, okay. Well, need to farm more lace wings now. Where did it go? Oh, right, I see. We have no lace wings, of course. Let's get a Zerg potion so this doesn't take long. I guess we could use the entire Zerg potion to farm lace wings, since we can manipulate time. Oh, up. Give me the lace wing. Thank you. Maybe I should still be using Hallowed Armor, even. Just one more invulnerability cooldown. But overlapping invulnerabilities. It got stuck on that bit of terrain. To my untrained eye, she didn't teleport into your face. Perhaps the teleport is an off-screen event when health is low enough? No, she does. Uh, like... It's a, it, it is rendered like a dash, but she literally just 
there's no dodging it or anything. She will literally just come straight to your exact location. It's not as if, if you're quick enough, you'll dodge it. There's like, various moments during the boss fight where she will not have you flying above her, at least not above a certain height. At least it's easy to get the lace wings now. random boss. But I'm not here for random bosses, I'm here for lace wings. Go away! Oh my goodness. I don't want to fight you right now. What did I just hit? You know what, I, I should really... It's too late. I was going to say I should not be trying to fight this without buff potions. We got 12 lace wings. I should probably not go back there. Especially since we're not... It's not like we still have our buff that we're trying to get value out of. I can pick up the stuff that we didn't pick up though. Gimme, gimme. All of it, please. Thank you. Yeah, I should have just ported. That boss was like... Zero val- negative value to fight. Since we were just there looking for lace wings. Sell this one. Uh, I thought I was down to six. It's actually 61 swiftness potions. Bones potions aren't accomplishing a whole lot. We can get hit like five times if that, or we're dead. Alright. Morning, night. Reset our buffs. And a lace wing. I said a lace wing. Why is it not firing? There we go. Wait. Oh, I was gonna say. It's so dark, I felt like the time of day was different or something. I was afraid I was about to get one shot. And this is the part where she does these thingies. I can use grab to get a lot of hide at that point. But I kind of want...
Okay, I think it was worth that teleport, definitely. If I can work the teleport into specific points instead of trying to react it in an emergency, especially because of how Terraria's uh, weapon switch is really clunky. That's probably going to work pretty well. She, that did make her teleport onto my face, though. So that was too far, apparently. It was literally just, like, what, a screen and a, a bit vertically? But I guess that's too much. If I stay below her, I'm going to die. If I try to go above her, she just claps me for it. Let's try again. Uh, where's... Why do I keep thinking the void bag is like the pylon? I think I'm running out of brain. Let's get out of here before we lose our dodge to an invisible feather. And I messed that up already. 85 seconds before we get another dodge. into my face, thank you. How did I end up in the water? What? Okay, okay. I need some height. There we go. I disagree with that hitbox. I'm out of room. Again. Where'd she go? Can I not even hit her when she's gonna do that? Okay, where? Where am I supposed to go? There's just nowhere left. Every time. How did I ever beat this? Maybe I had more damage? I mean, it doesn't get much better than this. If we want to kill her relatively early calamity buys, but totally normal um, vanilla-wise. And there goes our dodge already. All the normal that we dodge the attack, but it still applies damage over time. We only ever lose like 17 health from the DOT though, so the odds that that killed us earlier is really, really low. I should run in one direction for a long time when she's going to do that. Horizontally, that is. Oh, wait, wait a minute. I think I just figured out something fucky. Is there a limit on how far Rod of Discord will send you in Calamity? 
other than the size of the screen. Let's go to this, uh... No? Then why... I point... No. I was wondering, is Empress pre-lunatic or post-lunatic? Uh, I mean, she's an optional boss, so... According to boss log, she's... What? After Plague Bearer, after Betsy... According to boss... According to boss log, she's easier than Duke Fishron. No, no, I disagree with that wholeheartedly. Duke is tough but fair, except for the... Having to know that he goes 1, 1, 2, 1, 2, 3 for his last phase. Like, that's it. That's all you really need to know. Empress is just a series of... Oh, you didn't know I was going to do that exact thing? And you didn't move in advance to control how I did it? Well, now you have no room to live. You fool. Like that. That dodge right there. If I didn't know that that animation is a tell that she's going to dash horizontally, uh, she's just going to fly into my face with no chance to get out of the way. Oh, okay. And this time she went to ground level. That's... that's cool. So this time, it happened pretty much by accident, but I got her to do those round star things away from where I was. You know, basically off screen, like this. I didn't plan that, but if I know her mood, if I know all her attacks in advance, super, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? You know, when you practice something beforehand, like a play or a musical or something, rehearsed. This is the most rehearsed boss fight that I, that I can think of in Terraria. You just have to know the whole thing. Also, I noticed it went gold. Um, it's, uh, it's daytime. That's why we died in one hit there. So that helps. swings we got left. Eight. No, you don't. Wait, it disappeared? Did you see that? The moment I moved, like a centimeter away from the lace wing, it literally just vanished.
Yeah, so if I can get her to start the spinny star things when I'm up here somewhere, it means that I'm not going to have trouble with them way down here. And then when she's doing this, I guess I go up here so that when she does the spinny star things... We now go down this way. And now I need to... Okay, okay. Death spiral. No, bad. I can't... I can't reset. I think we're just done because there's just nowhere. Because I didn't know the dance step in advance just once. As soon as I stopped thinking of it as... Oh, we lost our dodge. As soon as I stopped thinking of it as... Am I good enough to dodge my way through this? And just started thinking of it as... Okay. You have to learn the dance steps. And you have to do them before you even see them. Suddenly we're getting further faster. What is this? The Transformer. I think that's that thing that I forgot to pick up earlier. Taking damage releases a, releases a blast of sparks. Immunity to electrified and you resist all electrical projectile and enemy damage. Enemy bullets do half damage to you and are reflected back at the enemy for 800% of their original damage. Okay, that's a nice uh, porcupine item. What's this? Oh, I didn't even see it, but apparently I already had one, so it can't be that interesting. Alright, do we have our dodge cooldown? Just about... Alright, let's see how much of this, uh, scripted fight I get right this time. And then when we're falling down here, she does, uh, these thingies, here we go. And I messed that up a little bit, but I got lucky dodging through it. start trying to get our rotation going. Okay, so she's doing that, which means I need to go up to the left. And then she does her star circle. And then I start falling down to the right. She does these homing things that miss me. And then all of this nonsense. Now she's going to do the shiny thing. Nope, that's the star circle. Now we're in trouble. Now it's the shiny thing. And then the homing things that lag behind her. Star circle, actually. Gonna run out of space because I don't know what's going on. That was kind of lucky, kind of skillful. Now we have this. Keep going left, I guess. Run out of space, I guess. Comboed, I guess. I think I was trying to use Rod of Discord while the ridiculously long cooldown on it was still active. Uh, let's fix time. And I just wasted my Rod, but it's fine. We don't use Rod that early. Oh, is the dodge cooldown still... even though I died? 
Really? Alright, now it's ready. Now do your homing things that lag behind you. There they go. Now these things. Now I dash right. Grab potion. Drag you along like this for a minute. And... I actually did that too long, but it worked, I guess. So now she's going to do her star circle, I think, is next. Which means we need to be out of here. And I guess that's one way we could do it. That didn't feel good, but maybe maybe that actually works out consistently. Just be running left underneath her, away from the star circle, and the homing missiles don't quite catch up with us. Star circle time. Run left time, I guess. That's not run left time. That's go in a big circle time. Nope, never mind. We're off script. We're very off script. I can't escape. There's just no room anywhere. Okay, cool. Great. Wonderful. Yes, perfect. Alright. Kind of recovered. Not really. Once we're off once we're off script, we're just dead. Not a whole lot to do. Just keep running out of less and less space. Don't you dare reset my dodge. set up, but we're fine. It seems to be the tradition now. Alright, pull it down. That's not where I wanted. Okay, I have literally nowhere to go. That's, that's cool. Star things in the sky is good, though. That's really, 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 really bad. Okay, alright, cool, great, wonderful, thank you. May I have another? Let's regen. Can I not? Why, why, doesn't, why doesn't this work right now? That was weird. A flat area would be nice. I feel like you're supposed to be running left or right and staying in the sky a lot more. Probably even have... If, if I flatten this, does that count as making an arena? It's quite, quite a bit more space in the abyss. I think. Maybe. One, two, three, four, five. A bit less than if we zoom out five times. Yeah, there's definitely more room here if this was flat. If it was flat. All right, we've regenerated, got our cooldowns. 
We've got our... That was rude. Got our summons. And... What time is it? 1.08 a.m. That won't do. Whoa, okay. Play swing, go. Blocks, go. Laser, go. Maybe I should be using Ranger. Probably get a lot more direct damage. Or significantly more anyway, and not have to keep this up as long. So those homing missiles that follow the star circle, it seems they just can't catch us if we go fast enough to one side. It doesn't look like they should, but yeah. I definitely want her to start the light thing when she's got some altitude. Where is she? Okay, that was good. That was good. Bit of improv this time, but managing the spacing surprisingly well anyway. This is good. This is good. Oh, come off it. I wasn't even that far away from you. You were just, like, barely off-screen below me. I'm gonna run out of room. That was going perfectly until she teleported onto my face. Piggy is still here waiting for us. What time is it? 9.50, that should be fine. So, when she does the light thing, I can't go... I can't go very high above her, at least. I think is the rule. I don't know if being a bit above her is fine. Ideally, I want to time the entire circuit so that she starts doing the light thing when we're descending. I don't know how long that needs to be exactly. Oh, I thought that would be it. Managing the spacing, I guess. How long is that star going to stay there? Too long. Okay. Alright. Get out of here, homing missiles. No. We're getting closer. I need to teleport. This is bad. We're so dead. If I didn't go down at that last moment, that beam that I thought was going to hit me, that dissipated, would have been fine, and we wouldn't have bumped into the other beam instead. We're getting a lot closer.
I feel like uh, if I had time today to do the... to give it the god mode treatment, the same thing I did with Duke Fisheron, to just learn the movement patterns, I feel like I probably could have just aced it. Because it's all prediction. Okay, 90% of it is prediction. Sometimes you'll dodge your way out of a bind, but... Most of the time, not really. I should probably use grab more than once in the whole fight. to that. Gonna run out of room because I wasn't ready for this. We're good actually. This is bad. This is fine. Where is she? Okay. That's not good. That's very uncomfortable. good actually. This is bad actually. Go away. Ow. Let me go left. Going left, no, dodge away, I mean, teleport away. Same thing, when you think about it. I think this is it. I think we get her this time. Oh my god, finally. I didn't actually... It, it just registered that she just sort of disappeared before I realized that she died. Ah, how many... Holy crap! Wait, does she... Is she friendly if I don't damage her? We're just chilling here. What's this boss called? I forget. Uh, the Leviathan? Question mark? Leviathan, yeah. That's what this is. Uh-oh. Don't damage... I, I do not feel like starting... No, 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 bad. Bad summon. I just wanted to look at how many gravestones we made. <laughs> Let's look at it via the map. Uh, I don't know that all of these are Empress of Light, but probably most of them definitely. I think this is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, and that's only the ones at the ocean before we started doing this. Ah... <sighs> We got there eventually. But that's, as far as I'm concerned, that's only a start. I'm definitely going to spam killing her in journey. Start with god mode just so I can learn to dodge. No solar eclipse. I, I am not in the mood. Go away. Shoo. Shoo. I'm loving this uh, Cosmolite. That's very handy. And I guess we have a fishing quest now? There's not enough vil- Oh. Oh. So sorry, sorry about that. Jewel of Light summons a fairy princess to provide light. Oh, this is- yeah, the light pet. 
We got Empress of Light Relic, which goes before Duke Fisheron. Uh, I put Duke up the top before because it was hard to see where he goes because he was so far ahead of everything else. Uh, let's see, Martian Sorcerer, one, two, three, is Empress of Light. One, two, three. What? No, bad. Which means, to me, the Angler has arrived. Uh, Fish Run comes right after that. And I think the Astrum... This one that we accidentally did early. I don't think there's a relic for this. So Ravager, Cultist, Astrum. This goes here. We're creeping towards the end. Although some of the damage values I've seen on items that we can craft make me think there's significantly more than it would appear. Um, where's the treasure bag? Here it is. Holy crap, what is this? No. No, I'm not in the mood. Shoo. Shoo. No random mechanical queen bee that's not that difficult, actually. Good grief. Can't go anywhere. You're not even halfway through? Okay. In terms of bosses we've killed, we are. Why can't I... There we go. Uh, caught in caverns. Fish o tron. Alright, we've got plenty of time. In fact, we can change time whenever we want, so... Yeah. Let's put away the Jewel of Light. And stack away this stuff. What's this? Mummy banner? I'm never ever using that. I should just sell it, honestly. Alright. Most important, we got Soaring Insignia. Is that the Terra Prisma? Is this not what we normally have to fight her during the day to get? Seriously? Um, I don't feel like I've earned this. But okay, Calamity. Uh, why don't we see how strong it is? That's kind of brutal. To say the least. Does it work through walls? I don't recall. I don't think I've actually... I, I don't think I've ever had this before because... You're supposed to have to kill Empress of Light during the day and take zero damage. Yeah, it doesn't work through walls. But hey. It's pretty aggressive. Pretty strong too. Kinda makes me want to play Summoner right now. We could we could play some Summoner. If I recall correctly, Calamity, Calamity makes Night Empress stronger, but Day Empress is weaker. No one-shots. She did one-shot us, though, once it was 4.30am. All of her attacks turned golden colored. Uh, and I don't know how much health we had, but we definitely died in one hit. Maybe it was a coincidence. Should we go with just double swords instead of the, uh... And we got the, the summon, the whip as well. We got nothing but summoner gear. Not counting the summoning insignia, of course. Uh, so we're not going like three DPS items now because we are always going to have this equipped. Wait, what? Increases wing flight time by 25%. What do you mean? 
you'd better not be telling me that I just did all of that for infinite flight and there's no infinite flight now. No. What the f... This is not okay. No. Give me... Give me back my actual soaring insignia. That I died 20 times to get. What the hell? Why would you do this? The whole point. This is... This is the whole point of fighting Empress of Light, as far as I'm concerned. Infinite flight. Bruh. It had better be because there's an item in Calamity that gives us infinite flight. Who needs infinite flight when you have arenas? Arenas are smelly. Ah. Uh... I... I don't understand why you would do this. There'd better be some item that gives us infinite flight. That's a lot of items we need to read. Why would a bow say something about flight? Taking damage while firing the stream will interrupt it and reduce your flight time. That's kind of cringe. Um, I know it's not the boots that the eventual upgrade. There's so many. This isn't even worth an accessory slot, to be honest. Increases wing flight time by 25%. I... I can scarcely care. Movement and jump speed by 10%. Acceleration by 1.1. No. No, a slight movement buff is not worth an accessory slot or killing Empress of Light. They nerfed it in Calamity, it's OP in base game since it's infinite flight. I don't think infinite flight is OP, I think it's just... It's more like something... I don't want to say you should be able to take, for, take it for granted, but like something you should be able to earn. Like, don't build your bosses so that infinite flight would be OP. <sighs> my disappointment is immeasurable and my day is ruined. Let's... Let's reforge this uh, Terra Prisma that we shouldn't have. Yeah, I don't see that a bullet hell is way less difficult if... Like... The, the way you move in Terraria is not that... Great, at its best. It's not... It's not as... Responsive. Like, the idea of having a bullet hell in Terraria is not a great idea to start with. A bullet hell game always has... Super responsive movement. So it's completely on you whether or not you get hit. Um, Terraria is much more, you know, I don't want to say physics based, but there is like acceleration unless you dash. Uh, there is acceleration and stuff to deal with. If you want a double jump, that's gonna, you know, obviously just once per flight you can go back up instantaneously. But other than that, there's this, like, dip. Like, 
if they're gonna... I, I, I actually saw one streamer doing this bullet hell thing where they're stuck in a big square. Uh, if they're gonna do that, like, there should definitely be infinite flight. Otherwise it's just, oh, build platforms in the air or else. Uh, based on what I saw, I, I didn't see that much detail, but like, it might just be the idea of doing it arena list is just, nope, sorry, you're not allowed. Uh, you go outside of the square, you die, and you're going to run out of flight. I guess we're just, I thought I was going to be able to throw away the gravity potions once we killed Empress, but I guess we're stuck with them until the end of time. Let's grab some summoner gear. I don't think I have enough to make the spooky set. Um, which might be the best we have available right now. So let's do the pumpkin moon. Get some more grav potions, I suppose. Since we're never, ever going to be free from them. And, uh, what do I want buff-wise for the pumpkin moon? It is the pumpkin moon, isn't it? Yeah. Not necessarily the same stuff as a boss fight. Let's get some mana regen potions. To be honest, I'll probably end up just constantly spamming anyway. What does Magnet Sphere turn into? We need Dark Plasma. As soon as I see Dark Plasma, I'll have to try that out. Honestly, I don't know if I can even justify an accessory slot for this. Yeah, I don't think I can. I think it's just going to be a trophy. Where should I put it? I didn't expect something like this, with Calamity making so many things better, not worse. Alright, what time is it? Six, it's actually 6.20 anyway. But... I need more bacon. Let's grab more bacon. Party time activate. Give me some... Pig Granatas. And bacon machine go. What's up? B and Spartan. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, what is up is we just killed Empress of Light and we're very disappointed. Because Calamity nerfed the insignia, making it pointless. Are you melee? No. Uh, this is just in case something is in my face or I want to get rid of cobwebs or something. Um, did I actually... I only got 15 bacon out of that. I know it hurts, right? The entire point of killing... I mean, we got a Terra Prisma that we didn't earn. But the entire point of killing Empress of Light was imp uh, infinite flight. Alright. 
we can have the pass uh party stuff back and that's not where i meant to go and reset so it's night time early night time pumpkin moon go Maybe I should have tried Summoner for this. I'll do it next time. By the way, if you want a good melee, just ask the R. What's the R? Morning wood has appeared. Where is it? Where is the... Oh, here it is. Somewhere. No? Where's the morning wood? That's the only thing I'm here to kill. Where did it go? Well, this is pretty effective. Oh, we got a bit of wood. I thought we needed to kill morning wood specifically to get spooky wood. That's pretty quick, actually. That's some good deeps. Oh god, I just realized how painful the, uh... Uh, the pylons? What are they called? Pylons, I want to say. I just realized how painful the pre-Moon Lord things are going to be. Monoliths? That's not right. I guess I'll have to keep using grab potions. Probably use Razor Blade for this part. We should have enough spooky wood after just one more of these, I imagine. I'm surprised how small the spread of this is now that I look at it. I guess it's because the uh, pumpkin was chasing us. Ooh, that's bad. Yeah, the fact that it's chasing us sort of effectively narrows the spread a bit. That's not good. There's a lot of hearts there and I need them. Oh, there's another one. I was going to say I probably should be using Razor Blade when I'm not DPSing down something big. Despite the wind-up time. Except we're just going to be constantly DPSing down something big from this point on, I think. Yep, we're at that stage. I always think the uh, spooky tree pet following me is some kind of homing missile that I have to dodge. But you can't help but pick them up when you're doing the pumpkin moon. And then when I press B, it includes the pet. Yep, 
Razor blade time. Never mind. Where's that morning wood? There's three of them. Let's get them. Gimme, gimme, gimme. If this isn't going to be enough for the summoner set, I will be surprised. We already had a few hundred or so. I guess, uh, unlike everything, uh, unlike all things Ranger, this doesn't lose damage at a distance. Except for the fact that it spreads. Double pumpkin, what does it mean? Maybe I should be using razor blade for this bit? It's fine. The deeps from the laser machine gun is actually crazy. Oh, that's... Okay, that is so many pumpkins. I don't think we can use the item that changes the time to keep the pumpkin moon going, can we? Whoops. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Oh crap. Okay. Okay. I don't think we're getting that much AoE value out of the razor blade, actually. Even when a couple of them are right next to each other. I think we just need the deeps. Me the hearts, thank you. Nope. Uh, I guess I was supposed to be farming morning wood, but we're farming pumpkin now. Since that's all that's spawning. I mean, I did see a wood, but. We have to, we have to kite these things. A little hard to kill Morningwood while we're avoiding seven pumpkins. I am loving the laser machine gun, though. Oh, there's still that morning wood here. Do we have time to get them? Oh, there's so many. We've got 20 seconds. Give me that wood. I don't care about the pumpkins. I got one of them. Get out of my face. Shoo. No. Oh, that that hurt. Okay. How much uh, spooky wood do you think we got? Eight hundred and eighteen in my inventory right now. That's. That's pretty good. Hee hee, morning wood, hee hee. Me when I wake up. <laughs> oh no. 
since the broken arc can carry you up to wall. Broken arc. What's this? Stake launcher? Alright, I have... I already did the pumpkin and morningwood relics. We can sell those. Scarecrow pants I don't care for. Cursed sapling I don't care for. Black fairy dust. Tattered fairy wings. 5% damage and crit. 180 flight time. Same as Duke, but of course we're going to be a lot slower. So not too excited about that. Uh, both... Oh, Hard Moon Vanilla Chest is very, very close to full. And we now have a thousand spooky wood. How good is this hook? Oh, it's the same as the Christmas hook. No, it's got better real back velocity. I was going to take it when it was the same, but because it's a bit less distracting than this thing, but uh, that's good. Uh, Thek Bub, thank you for the follow. Oh, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Bat Scepter. Summons bats to attack your enemies. <laughs> Beautiful. Uh, let's make sure we pick up whatever else fell here. My inventory's too full, actually. I know I've already got the Horseman's Blade. Uh, I don't think Stake Launcher is gonna, like, beat uh, Tsunami or anything, right? Is something wrong with your audio, or did your voice volume suddenly drop? Uh, not that much, I don't think. Volume levels, according to OBS, look the same. Welcome, Deckbub. Sell that. Uh, I don't need more than one stake launcher, I don't think. We're probably just putting it in the museum. Bat scepter, lol. Pumpkin scented candle. Oh, this is like a really good light pad, actually. It, it gives you a nice, like, warm color instead of all of the weird, horrible colors that most of the light pads give you. I was gonna put. Uh, I don't know where I wanna put this. Let's just shove it over here. Uh, and then the void bag. Oh, what a mess. Alright, we don't need more than one spooky hook. Um, or stake launcher. Necromantic scrolls, that's good. Uh, morning wood trophy, fantastic. That can go here, I guess. Sell the rest. I probably do want to keep the extra necromantic scrolls. And I'll combine it with that in a moment. What's this? Scarecrow hat? Get out of here. Uh, banners. Get quick stacked. Angry tumbler. When did I get that? Oops. Hexed branch. I think this is the fastest mount, but it stays on the ground. In any case, we don't need four of them. And then... Raven stuff. AD summon is pretty weak at this point. Uh, especially when we've got Terra Prisma. Uh, but it gets upgraded eventually. So we'll hold on to at least one of those. Spooky Twig makes Spooky Wings, which are still inferior to Fishrun Wings. 
Unless you count the minion damage. You'd have to really care about the minion damage, though. We don't need any more... Candles. And... Quick stack what we can. What's this? Crystal Thresher banner. I think that's that shark, isn't it? That's a lot of raven staves. Staves. What's this? Sky glaze. Oh, I think I got that before. I think the harpies drop it sometimes. I think I this was what I quick stacked over here when I was like, wait, what is that? Oh, I didn't see it. And the void bag is finally empty. Candy corn rifle is kind of good, but. Um, wait, where's our ammo for the candy corn? We can buy it, but normally we would have some to start with. I've got stakes in my ammo slots. Wooden arrows, get out of here. Let me just sell what I know I'm going to sell first. Dark energy jumps from enemies hit by summons. Strike enemies with dark energy to gain attack speed. I don't think uh, Kaleidoscope is slow enough for me to want that attack speed that badly. Uh, and Kaleidoscope makes summons crit, I think. It doesn't say it here. Did they, did they nerf that? I hope not. Spider egg summons a pet spider. Oh, lovely. Just what I wanted. Pumpkin trophy, sure. And I think we've finally sorted all this. Let's put our summoner gear on. Or well, let's make our summoner gear first. 1,000 spooky wood. Whoops. I'll just double check. There isn't another use for this that I'm forgetting. Other than you could use the hardest wood to get in the game for furniture and things of that nature. You can make a step stool, that's cute. Necroplasmic beacon. Phantoplasm plus spooky wood. Summons poltergeist when used in the dungeon. Enrages in large spaces. That's spooky. I think the rest is vanilla from what I saw. Alright, so spooky helmet, spooky breastplate, spooky leggings. One, two, and three. Let's put our mage gear over here. Whoops. And this is actually neutral. This is very much mage gear. Let's put it down here so we know. And this will go in here. Oh, it's full? Why is it full of turtle shells? Why, why is... 
Why is the attack accessories chest full of cross necklaces, turtle shells, philosopher's stones? What? When did this happen? Um, yeah, we're definitely going to need as many accessory slots as possible for Summoner. Can it? This is a material. What can I upgrade it with? Way too many things. Core of Sunlight is the main thing, though, that we're not going to have for a bit. Necromantic Scroll only turns into Parapus Scarab. Uh, over here. Minion damage, minion knockback, plus one minion, even more minion damage. And the text is very vague with Parapus Scarab, so I don't know if it's like going to give us 25% minion damage or what. Do we have any minion buffs right now? I don't think so. 85 summon damage becomes 96. That does not sound like 25% more damage. Uh, if we're really desperate for plus one minion, we can also take Pygmy Necklace. definitely probably want the first shadow flame so it looks like both of these just makes status's curse no this one's different status's blessing wait what why does huh if I middle click this one, it says Pygmy Necklace plus these things makes Status's Blessing. Oh, this is Holy Water. Nope, the recipe doesn't change. Status's Curse. Oh, I didn't click this? Okay, I guess that's how that works. Status's Blessing gets upgraded to Status's Curse, I guess, when we get Stardust fl uh, Fragments. But what do I want to do right now for minion accessories? I want as many minions as possible. Up to and unless we have to really sacrifice something. Set bonus is actually minion damage by 25%. It doesn't increase minion count. We do get plus four minions, just like the Tiki armor. Uh, let's compare them. 50, 55. Tiki armor has, uh, has five more defense. Increase minion damage by 10, 20, 30%. That seems like a lot. This one is minion damage by set bonus 25%. So we only need 5% to match it. And then on top of that, 11% plus 11% plus 11%. Wow. So 33 plus 25... Uh, 58% increased minion damage? Terra... I just saw it say 137 and then it changed to 130. What? I didn't have a buff active, did I? What buff would I have had that buffs minion damage? Oh, possibly a Wrath Potion. Okay, so we got 
one, two, plus four, six, seven. We could go eight, nine. Nine Terra Prismas. And we would still have accessory slots? Well, we would have one accessory slot left. We could go more minion damage. Or a mixture of defense and damage. That's 15 more percent minion damage. 130, 141. That's not insignificant. I should probably go the warding... Master Ninja Gear. If we're playing Summoner. 138 summon damage. Let's upgrade the accessory. And I could go... Oh, yeah, we definitely don't need the Pygmy Necklace. Because we can have another Necromantic Scroll stack with the thing that it upgrades with. Just like... Uh, just like the Shark Tooth Necklace. If I'm going Summoner, I want to go Maximum Defense to make up for the lack of defense on the armor. We're not getting that big DPS from Summoner, I would imagine, anyway. I could be wrong. Um, so all of it warding. Oh, no, I went past it. No. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Alright, so... So this is 1, 2, if we include the table. Plus 4 is 6, 7, 8, 9... It's still 9 minions. Feels like I should have gone up a number by now. Spooky wood is a material? Hell yeah. We're not going to have this stuff for a minute. Well, we've got the souls, of course. We can get to 10 when we use a summoner potion. And we'll put away the magic power potions. I'm surprised I haven't found... Uh, where is it? Pre-hard mode, we found a weapon that was like a homing missile. Slime puppet staff. Here it is. It does summon damage, but it it's like a spell. I haven't found anything else like this. I don't think. A little surprised by that, to say the least. I don't think I should still be trying to use it, though. We're much better off throwing out, like, Razor Blade Typhoons and stuff. Let's put the Tiki armor back. Let's get a whip. Mojo D, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Welcome, raiders. Power Wash Simulator. Nice. How is that? Um, I'll put away the Influx Waiver for now. And... I never did test the Candy Corn Rifle, but I've seen it before. It's pretty good, but it's not up to scratch at the moment. How goes Terraria? Found any owls? Yeah, lots of owls. Here's one safe and sound right here. Neat, indeed. Hoot hoot. There's a 
uh, okay, tiny spoiler, um, but there's a rare bark for the owls and the ducks in this game where instead of hooting or quacking, they just say hoot or quack. I think this is it. Um, I don't particularly like the elementals that much. Apart from not necessarily justifying an accessory slot, although they certainly would if we mash them all together. Um, I don't like the way they take up, like, most of the screen. That quack cracked me up, yeah. Um, alright, so I think I'll still keep the Razorblade Typhoon. It's just... it's a great off-class weapon. Laser Machine Gun will put away for now. Uh, I always want the Rainbow Rod in case there's something like here. Actually, I guess with Summoner, we've got all these tools that shoot things through walls, so... But this is such muscle memory. Uh, Life Drain should be here, but I never, en never ended up using it. So we got a couple of spaces here. Oh, it's in the honey trough. So what do I want to set up? Probably just... You know what, we're not even going to use the Sun God Spirit for now. I just want to see the maximum number of Terra Prismas. Including with a summoning potion. Fantastic. Good grief. Let's go ruin something's day. And put away the spooky wood. Let's... You know what? Just because it'll be a good comparison, let's do the pumpkin moon again. Wait, what? Oh, I made it 4.30 a.m. Can we fix that? There we go. So we got the usual buffs. I don't know if Rage and Wrath are really necessary right now. And summoning, yes please. Re-up all our buffs, and go. Oh, that is... That is brutal. Said it before, I would generally advise if you want to stick with multi-class, at least limiting yourself to one summon helps because of buff limits. One type of summon. Then, hmm. Okay, I think the Terra Prismas tend to all go for one target. Which doesn't help so much when the health of the enemy scales. It's the last thing I want when I'm going summoner. Because the main... Uh, the main thing with summoner is... You go into the dungeon, for example, and you can rely on your summons to tag every enemy so that they're not attacking you. But these guys just... They all want to focus the same target. Oh, I should use the whip as well. I haven't been using the whip for ages. Yeah, this is good if you want to, to keep focusing one target after another. But I feel like that's like the opposite of what's good about Summoner. The whip does hit a bunch of stuff all at once though. See how quickly we kill one of these. That's not bad, actually. Alright, so this is single target DPS summoner, I guess. Ow. 
in that health. No, don't bounce me off your head before I get the health. That's rude. How could you? Ow. Can't really reach, though, safely. Yeah, I'm not as impressed with this summon as I thought I would be. I guess if you must kill bosses as a summoner, this is the way to go, though. It is probably by far the best reliable, like, yeah, it, 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 it excels for boss fights. Um, it's like as reliable as Sanguine Bat, only it's dealing a lot more damage. 10 out of 10 summon for a very specific purpose, I suppose. I kind of expected just, uh, just a really, really, really strong general summon, if that makes sense. But yeah, the fact that we've got, like, many enemies on screen and they're hitting only one thing, uh, that is the opposite of when and why I pick summoner. I think we've seen enough. Then again, there might be some drops from the pumpkin moon I don't have yet. What should we hit next? Now that we've done Empress of Light and the Soaring Insignia is the greatest disappointment. Oh, that's bad. Nope. Nope. So you appeared at exactly the wrong place in time. How dare you. Probably Summoner would be good for the Abyss as well, I imagine because there's enemies that are so difficult to see. It's hard to argue with the sheer power of this summon, though. I guess the Sanguine Bats are... No, the Sanguine Bats are not useless yet. Because they'll knock back more than one target at a time. Wait, where's my grab? There we go. 
Where's my mana? Oh, I pressed the wrong thing. What did I just buff? Summoning. Ow. Oh, that's just rude. How dare you. What time is it? We've got one minute left. I, don't, I think when we were mage, we ended up with significantly more pumpkins chasing us at the end, though. But I did sort of run through this a bit more inexpertly. Where, what, what are you... Why are you... No. There we go. 20 seconds left, actually. Can we kill one more? Probably not. Five seconds. No. Okay. Flames still hurt. What's this? Relics. It's a pretty good walking around minion, though. <laughs> Things just disappear before you even see them. Terra Prisma is sort of made to go well with Zenith. Also, it's the best of vanilla, but you're getting at the limit of vanilla, hence feeling sort of weak. It's not weak, it's just, um, what, when I go summoner, it's because I'm going into the dungeon, for example, and hitting one target hard is like the opposite of what I need to do. I need to hit every target at least a bit, so that, um, the nasty teleporting mage kind of enemies don't get a shot off um but if you absolutely must play like strict summoner and want something to kill bosses you probably i'm sure in vanilla you couldn't do better than terra prisma at least not before moon lord um jack o lantern Perfect. Yeah, we, we can do better already. This will go in the museum. But that was really just for sort of a test um, of our new summoner gear. Four days left. What are we counting down again? Layla, welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Then we have Factorio. You're counting that down every week. Oh, there's the candy corn. Oh, it only pierces like two enemies. I thought this was actually good for crowds and stuff. But the Elf Melter puts it to shame, actually. Where are we up to again in Factorio? We're starting to spam out new rail blocks every 20 minutes, half an hour. Apart from when the biters interrupt us. Alright, maybe we should try a boss fight with Summoner. What's next on our list? Oh no, not this. Uh, how much defense do I have? 83? It's not that bad. Traveling Merchant! 
I think he's over here. Magic hat. I think we can do better. Yeah, nothing too special here this time. Circuits are fun, indeed. Beldak gets it. Jack O'Lantern goes here. Yeah, I think I want to procrastinate this boss until we're overpowered for it, honestly. This, this thing kind of annoys me more than Empress of Light. Betsy... I don't think we can beat Betsy. Hey, Silent Storm. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. That is... That is a thing. Spawn info. Abomination in the jungle. We need plenty... Uh, 20 plague cell canisters, which I think we've got. I also need to check what else we can do with them, because... Where are they? Because we've collected a few. And I know I've seen these attached to some cool stuff we can make. The amalgam. We need more stuff for that. Cosmolite fire. Acid round. Musket ball plus plague cell canister equals 150. Explodes into acid that inflicts the plague. Does more damage the higher the target's... Does more damage the higher the target's defense? That seems pretty good. Yeah, no, tomorrow's the day off. And then we're doing some Oni. Plague Bearer... Oh, Plague Bringer Carapace. We need the B Breastplate? Really? Alchemical Flask. I don't think I have those. Immunity to the Plague. Uh, what is the Plague? I'm scared. Minion damage. Friendly bees inflict the plague. Oh my god. You spawn bees while sprinting or dashing? <laughs> Minion damage. Movement speed. You grow flowers on the grass beneath you. Chance to grow very random dye plants. Very random dye plants. That's, that's the exact quote. On grassless dirt. 15% increased minion damage. So, unless it's all in the set bonus, I see no plus minion count on any of this. Plague Reaper Mask. Ranged damage and ranged crit. We need nanites, necro helmet, and 15 plague cell canisters. We can make this, but we need more if we're going to make the set. Looks like these two... Oh, it's just the different helmet. The, the, the exact same thing. Plague Reaper Striders. How much defense is this? 9? 11? Uh, 15% in increased movement speed is nice. 10% increased range damage, 8% crit. 13 and 8. Oh, that's a lot. Uh, 28 and 13. That seems good. And I wonder what the set bonus is. So we need, uh, 50? 65. Plague cell canisters. What was the first thing? I don't remember. Oh, the boss summon thingy. 
We need another 20. Okay, we need lots of these, but I want to see what else uh, they're good for. Plague Infuser used for special crafting. Broken Plague quote-unquote bed. What? Uh, this is all cosmetic. Anything else? Abomination. That's the thing we were just looking at. It's also a material? Universe Splitter? What the hell? 38,000 summon damage. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, let's just put that on the back burner for now. Soul Harvester. We can upgrade the Death Sickle. I could do that right now. Shoots a Soul Scythe. Enemies explode when low in health. Spreading the plague. Contagion, 985 range damage. It's going to be a while before we can make that. Epidemic Shredder. Nano Black Reaper. Plague Nade. Tactical Plague Engine. That's a lot of different stuff, including Luminite Bars. Need to kill the Moon Lord first. Okay, so... Psycho Knife, Obsidian, Iron... We could make this. Eight damage. When hitting a boss, mini boss, or their minions, you gain various boosts and cripple the enemy hit. A knife from an unknown world. So this is huge debuff knife. What? Uh, so what can we make right now? Acid round, Yan Mei's knife, which curiously doesn't say melee damage. And the armor sets. Infected armor plating? I don't think we have that, actually. So just the one armor set? Alright. Let's go get more of these plague cell canisters. And I don't want to go just Terra Prisma, as it turns out. Uh, where's my... Where's my piggy? Don't tell me it fell down here. Oh no. How how did this happen? Oh, there's also a bunch of stuff in here I need to get rid of. I think I already stashed one of those. Jack O Lantern Vanity Item. Fantastic. Let's go with this for now. Why not? Where's the rest of the rune wizard? There we go. Goody bag. We got rotten eggs and witch vanity items. Uh, this is all stuff we've seen before. Except get the egg out of my inventory. Get the Morning Wood Relic out of my inventory. I still don't know where my... Oh, here it is, Money Trough. I should have realized when I put this up here. Because I never put anything in slot 3, that's why that happened. I guess there's a universe where... I use some more... Slime puppet stuff. Just to hit things through walls. Alright, so 
So we start with Sun God stuff. Two, three, four, five. What else would be good? One thing to hit stuff through walls. Where was it? Six. Seven, eight. Nine? Tempest stuff damage is pretty close to Terra Prismas, actually. Well, per hit. I think this will be better for hitting lots of different stuff at the same time. Also, the light pet can go away for now. Uh, also, also, sell the stuff. And then... Should probably keep the summons that I'm using in the piggy. Guide to critic companionship can go here. Oh, I still don't have slot five. Let's put these up here. What other weapons would be good to support Summoner? You know what? I'm just going to grab myself. Uh, where is it? The snow cannon. Snowman cannon. And where's the ammo? Wait, 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 wait. Toy tank. Let's go. More passive damage. That seems good. Now give me some rockets. Fantastic. Whoops. Now we're set. Where are we going again? To get plague cell canisters. So, to the jungle. Uh, and you know what? While we're at it, let's grab a Zerg potion. And do we want any other buffs? I don't think so. I think this is fine. One more minion might be okay, actually. Oh, hello. Um, I have trouble finding time to do this. There we go. That's a lot of stuff. This is, this is more what I have in mind when I pick Summoner. Just everything hitting everything. At the same time. So much on the screen I can't really tell where the enemies are. Very nice of these enemies to drop all their mana stars in the water where I can drive over them if I don't want to pick them up. How many plague cell canisters? We got 20 already. Fantastic. Let's get a hundred or two hundred. And that should probably be all we need. Actually, since we can use it to make ammo, and the ammo sounded good, we should probably go for as much as we can get. Keep going till the Rage Potion, uh, Zerg Potion runs out.
Fantastic. I do not feel like doing... No, 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 no. Kill it, kill it, kill it, kill it. Oh, no, 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 no. I don't want to fight the Martians right now. Um... Can we not actually... I'm curious to see how well this uh, setup works against them, but still, I don't... I think they're just too dangerous. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was about to port home. We still have our minions active, which is weird. I really don't want to deal with this right now, so... Oh wait, the time doesn't matter, does it? Uh, I don't want to swap my gear out either. Can we cheese it? How about... Nothing but astral probes. Did I not pick that up earlier? Here we go. And this goes in the piggy right about here. I expect there to be some some kind of anti-cheese from the flying saucers that's going to hit me through the buildings, actually. Maybe we can... I don't think we can use the pylon network, can we? So I guess get ready to use a uh, rod of discord when they show up. Bedtime, enjoy, take care. This seems balanced. I'm surprised how much damage they deal. percent of the way through and I haven't seen a single saucer. They do take damage over time so I should spread the shots across multiple enemies. Is there another way to skip this event, other than just cheesing it? I don't think there is.
And there's the saucer. I'm curious to see... Oh, yep. Yeah. So it does shoot through the ceiling. That seems fair. But it's not trying very hard to get us. Uh, Rod of Discord, it turns out, does not work while you have the tank on. <laughs> this looks bad. We are actually slowly killing it this way. Okay, I didn't expect that. And is it going to do it again before the Rod of Discord cools down? Oh, okay, it just jumps to the opposite side of us and then... Yeah, that seems fair. I mean, of course what we're doing seems fair, but... I'm curious to see how it... how they're going to combat it. Yikes. Yeah, I think it's going to kill us before we kill it. Or can I, like... Nope, 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 that was lucky. Uh, you might want to... Yeah. Might want to get out of the way. Do I have a heal? I do not. Oh, that was kind of close. And now it's just now it's just going full aggro. Wow. Yeah, that's about what I was expecting. So what are you supposed to do if you get <laughs> if you get a Martian invasion when you didn't mean to on hardcore? Just pry, I guess. Maybe go down to the underworld and stay there forever. Okay, that's surprisingly effective. Maybe I'll try just having astral probes for a while. Are they going to all just focus one thing like before though? What's the damage? One hundred and forty-five summon damage. It's the same as Terra Prisma. This is probably better. Okay, can we at least get like a nice clean orbit? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. What if we go fast? Not quite. Uh, this'll do, I guess. Alright, so this goes in here. And... We don't need another million tortoise shells. All of my NPCs are dead. We have 49 Plague Cell Canisters that we got in that little moment before we accidentally, not exactly accidentally summoned 
the Martians, but rather the the probe got away shockingly easily. Hey Ben Wu, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Stack this away. Anglerfish, get out of here. And let's go farm up some whatever it was, plague cell canisters, like we were trying to before we were so rudely interrupted. Doing okay, harsh schedule flip with school now starting for my daughter. Oh, well I hope it works out. I think there was some stuff down here. Oh, maybe I already picked it up. Good grief. Yeah, I think this might be the way to go even with like a Zerg potion. It's definitely a lot easier to see what's going on. And also... The amount of damage that hits something as soon as it comes on screen. This might... I think this is probably better than Terra Prisma. Definitely better all round. I was about to say, do we need, like, a specific time of day for the plague cell canisters? I don't think so. Jin Dog, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. This just feels like god mode. I mean, I know we're just going back and forth in the jungle, but still... That poor turtle. Did I... I did use the Zerg potion. Yeah. Okay, so we... Uh, night time. Let's get some night time happening. Actually, before we do, let's get a battle potion as well. Night time, Zerg potion, battle potion. Let's see how that feels. Battle potion. Oh, have we talked to you? No, but you've not got anything new for us. Okay, night time. Fantastic. Yeah, this is actually insane. I'm not really feeling threatened at all. <laughs> okay, now they're getting closer. Oh, that's a lot of that's a lot of fish. Okay, let's get out of the tank. That seems like a bad idea. Look at all those <laughs> angry trappers. I need some heals. I need some buffs. There we go. Alright, so we do have to move around in the jungle at night with Battle Potion and Raid, uh, Zerg Potion. But it's not that hard to survive, honestly. Seven, thirteen. It's probably. I don't want to say it's about the same. 
because the razor blade, uh, the razor blade's probably gonna hit more than twice. Could use the whip. That doesn't seem the worst idea, actually. It's not like the pumpkins where we can't get that close. Pretty good uh, damage considering that all of my items say warding. Yeah, we've got 7% damage reduction and 49 extra defense from our accessories. No extra damage, no extra crit, no movement, no nothing. But that is to make up for a bit of a deficit in defense from the summoner gear. Even so. This is actually pretty crazy. If we want to hit everything, we can do better than using just these minions, just this one type. But they they do attack multiple things at a time, and the damage is just beautiful. got AoE damage with our whip as well. Still got nine minutes on the Zerg potion. I see 98 of the things that uh, the thing that we came for, plague cell canister, in my inventory already. We could probably go farm somewhere else with the rest of the potion. The Zerg potion is one of the few things we have to actually farm for, so we want to make the most of it. Ow. Those poor fishies. Oh my god, one touched you, right? I'm surprised how long it took to see this random mini boss. There we go. We're up to 136. I want 200. That should be more than we need for a long time. Okay, I have to see how effective this is in the dungeon. 
does the pure damage override, like, compensate for the fact that we don't hit that many targets at once? Because I suspect it does. Maybe not when we have a Zerg potion. damage we take as well. You know what, once I get to full health I want to slam into a turtle. I want to see how much damage it does. enough. Can we get hit exactly once by a turtle? That's its own challenge. Almost. Nope. Yes. I think that was my dodge. Oh, here we go. No, I dodged. I dashed. Where is the turtle that's going to hit me just once? There we go. 73 damage. That is... Pretty weak for a turtle, to be honest. Very weak, actually. Is it about time we try the Abyss again? I think it's about time we try the Abyss again. I'd also like to see how well this does against the post-Plantera Eternia Crystal. Uh, I, I don't, I don't want to do the Solar Eclipse. We've done the Solar Eclipse enough. It's not that hard, the rewards aren't that great, it takes forever. Seventeen days until Burger Festival? Nice. Alright, we've got four minutes left on this thing. Let's let's see what it's like in the dungeon. Post Plantera dungeon. Not a whole lot of buffs. Actually shut up and take my buffs. And maximum number of minions. Since we're still in the Zerg potion. I'll be posting pictures again. Nice. Okay, the... The damage... I was going to say isn't as high as I thought it would be, but never mind. Yeah, they're actually quite good at hitting multiple things, depending on the range. This is post-Plantera Dungeon with a Zerg Potion. We're in a pretty cozy spot, but still. Yeah, I think if we were, like, down on the ground there, we'd be getting overwhelmed. But... They're taking care of the teleporting mages quite effectively, actually.
something managed to shoot us. I'm pretty sure I could just stand here the whole time. Is that a Paladin? Ow, 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 something hit us. Oh, wow. Okay, it can happen. All right, I think I've got a good enough idea. It's a... I don't want to say it's about what I expected, but... Quite strong, but not ideal. Like, you want a spread of different minions. So you scratch all the... You also want some AoE minions, like the Deadly Sphere. And you want a spread of minions so that they'll hit everything a little bit. So that those other enemies don't get to attack. Why isn't this quick stacking? Because it goes over here. Rapes? Wait, what? Wrath not included? Perfect. No notes. Uh, Anti-gravity hook. We didn't have this before. I, I don't think I would ever actually use it, but hey. Let's get these worms. And we'll put the hook in the collection. I don't need any more wingman. Whoops. Shop. I uh, don't need this again. Don't need this again. We'll stack these away. And then... this as well. Why am I still holding the Pumpkin Moon Medallion? Get out of here. I guess I could have kept the Martian banners, actually. Oh well. What's this? Princess hat? Lovely. Perfect. Alright, that's our inventory just about cleaned up. Whoop. Nope. What is this? Unlucky Yarn summons Black Kitty? Aw. Don't need any of these. How many of those uh, Plague Cell canisters did we get? Uh, three... <laughs> 154. I think we have enough for now. Oh no, that's not what I meant to do. Rip time. It's fine. Uh, and we were gonna make the... What is happening? Oh, the time is still rushing forward. We were gonna make that ranger gear, right? We need nanites, and we need uh, the necro set. Nanites are down here, I think. And I think once we craft this, we'll finish up for today. We've gone just a tad over time. You can just buy a rocket launcher. Okay. Don't know how many we need, but this is probably more than enough. And... Plague Reaper Mask. Plague Reaper Striders. Plague Reaper Fest. We gain a little bit of defense over the 
spooky wood set. Which isn't saying a lot for Ranger. I'm guessing the uh, Shroomite set is going to be high de defense. Let's see. 95. 112. That is a lot more. This is probably going to be crap at this point, isn't it? Set bonus. 25% reduced ammo usage. 5% increased flight time. Enemies receive 10% more damage from ranged projectiles when afflicted by the plague. Getting hit causes plague cinders to rain from above. Press something to bind yourself for 5 seconds but massively boost your ranged damage. This has a 25 sec... Oh, blind yourself. Blind yourself for 5 seconds for a damage boost. Uh, what key is this? Calamity mod. We've got like a million keybinds. And I've already got hardly any room left. Uh, what would it be called? Is it a specific armor set? Calamity mod armor set bonus? Usually just tapping up does it. Can I bind it to that as well? Is that going to cause problems? Hmm. Spectral Veil Teleport. Alright. I'm, I'm going to guess it's armor set bonus. Uh, I don't really have a key spare for this. Am I using T? I don't think so. Oh, wow. How much deeps do we gain by doing this? Let's grab ourselves... I, I won't pick up all the rest of the ranger gear for the moment, but... Let's grab ourselves... Sure, the shotgun. And... I need the musket balls as well. DPS meter. Alright. So we're, our DPS is like... 12... Let's call it 1100 with it. Okay, it's being super inconsistent. <laughs> it It's so hard to decide where the average DPS is. Let's call it like 1200. And then... It's like, what, 50% more? That is... Significant. To say the least. What's our damage... Just in general? This is arrow damage. Let's grab Tsunami, actually. That should be in with the old other guns. Um, tsunami. 104 ranged damage. I'll make sure I'm moving so the Shroomite gear doesn't benefit from standing still. 109 and 40 crit. 104 and 31 crit. 10% crit is nothing to scoff at. So the damage is significantly lower. The armor is significantly lower. We do get a big momentary DPS boost. But it's only like... 149 and 51 crit. Versus if we stand still for a sec with this... 161 and 50 crit. Probably blinding yourself for 5 seconds is better, to be honest. Uh, what's our... So 10% and 8. Oh, I think I added this up before. Yeah, it's... It's not good enough. Let's put it that way. 
maybe if I'd got it sooner, but I don't know when I could have... I don't know how early I could have got those plague cell canisters. It seems like I could have already got Shroomite gear anyway. I bound armor set bonus and adrenaline to the same key and it was fine. Seems good. Alright, let's find a stream to raid. How's the game going? Uh, pretty well. Killed Empress of Light and found out that it was sort of a waste of time. Because for some reason, Calamity Mod deleted Soaring Insignia. Vin Mars, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, Dinidni, welcome, welcome also. Good to see you again. Got any more sets? Uh, yeah, I played with the Spooky Wood set since we got the... For some reason, uh, Empress of Light dropped the... Uh, what is it called? In vanilla, you actually have to kill her during the day to get the Terra Prisma. So I wanted to try that out. It was better and worse than I expected. It's very, very good for a boss fight. Um, it's good at single target DPS. And not much else. And usually if I'm picking summoner, I want the opposite of hitting a single target. Um, but if you're going to play Summoner, uh, and you're going to want to go for bosses, then you could hardly do worse than that. Uh, you could hardly do better than that. In vanilla, at least. Decipher's doing Calamity? We could do that. I mean, yeah, that's... The closest thing I can see to what we're doing. I didn't even know there were classes in this game. They're not strict classes, although there's not a whole lot, especially in vanilla, there's not a whole lot um, that you can really go like class agnostic or hybrid. Are you using mods? Uh, yeah, Calamity and just a couple of quality of life things like uh, boss log, so we can see what we've beaten, what we need to summon a boss, and a suggested order. Uh, and also, like, uh, I forget what this is called, but it's basically the guide, but you always have it. Uh, it's a little slightly slow to respond, and some of the, some of the UI design I find a bit clunky, but on the other hand, just middle click this and we can see everything we can make, that's brilliant. I mean, you can bind that to whatever you want. Magic Storage's biggest quality of life mod? Yeah, I don't... Uh, I, I, I wanted to make a nice base, so I didn't want it to just be a hole in the ground with a couple of magic storages, which is what it would end up being. Alright, let's drop in on Decipher. It's not that I don't mind sorting. It would be great if uh, we could somehow dump everything into a chest that followed rules that we set uh, and put things in different chests, kind of like in like Space Engineers or something. So you did not find any more vanity sets? Uh, not really. Thanks for the stream. Take care, Evil Pla. Thanks for hanging out. And to everyone else as well. Not sure if mech transfer is updated. Mech transfer? Take care, Morpheus. Silent Storm. Thanks for stopping by. And see you all in a couple of days for Oni. Oh, yeah. Do you want me to send a game progression wiki page? Yeah, that'd be good, dude.